Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys very much for being here today. We are taking a different way to Scarlet Monastery. Someone in a YouTube comment reminded me that you can just swim across the lake. So that's what we're doing today. Monica, Blood Moon, Justin, Primordial, Captain Wolf, Snicker Fritz, Iggy, John, welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you all for being here. Something I also didn't realize until today, like, if someone lays down a sleeping bag, anybody can lay on the sleeping bag. You don't have to lay in your own sleeping bag. So, like, in a group situation, apparently, like, one person can lay it down, and then everybody can sleep in it. I think I saw this happening yesterday, but my, my brain didn't connect uh, the facts of what was really going on. Which is that, like, you don't have to blow your own cooldown every time you want a sleeping bag, if you're in a group. Only one of you has to put one out. Which, uh, which, you know, is a little bit weird. You got five people in one sleeping bag. Uh, but it works, I guess. <clears throat> Mike Oz, good morning to you. Sammy, good evening to you. Justin, do we have snow in Michigan? We have gotten, like, a couple of flurries today. and that's, I don't think we're going to get a lot of snow. We're, I know the northeast is supposed to get a lot of snow. Like, keep in mind, Michigan is not really in the northeast. It's more northeast than states that are, like, 
in the west <laughs> but it's not like when they say like heavy snow in the northeast we're not like typically are always included in that and then again i haven't looked at the forecast so i really don't know johnny hoover with the eight months you are a legend my man thank you for being here i appreciate it thank you for the eight months they're calling for three inches uh, i mean three inches is really nothing <laughs> When they call for three feet, then I'll get worried. Yeah. No, we, we got a lot of snow like last month. I don't know. I'm kind of over snow at the same time. If it does snow, I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, yeah, I don't have any, any snow for today. Let's see. Yeah, no, nothing for today. Who knows what tomorrow will hold. But today we're in the clear. Any ESO updates? I don't plan to play ESO anytime in the near future. I I've talked about it a lot on the stream. I know it's like, you know, you can't catch every stream. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't find the combat in ESO engaging enough to keep playing it. I love the stories. I love the voice acting. I love the world. They have such an incredible gem on their hands when it comes to like the world building, the storytelling and stuff like that. The moment to moment pressing of the buttons, it it's not engaging. It feels, it, it feels almost like a pointless exercise to fill time. That's really like the only way I can explain it. And I, I, I don't really know why it feels that way. Some of it is like class fantasy. Some of it is like the limited, uh, the limited ability layout. Some of it is just the way that combat functions. Like with it not being tab target MMO. Like maybe I just don't like MMOs that are not tab target. It's probably just a me thing. But yeah, I just... Man, I, I try to get every once in a while. I try to get into ESO, but I just can't. I can't stick with it because of the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and like moving the character around and like fighting things. It's not every time I have to fight stuff in ESO. Like a part of me cringes. I, I like ah, like ah, I gotta fight. Man, damn it! Like I, you know what I mean? Like that's the feeling I get when I have to fight stuff in ESO. That's not a good feeling to have in a video game. Like you, you want to kind of enjoy combat, even in an MMO where combat is kind of repetitive and boring. The, you you kind of want to in, at least enjoy the flow of it. And I, I've tried like a bunch of different classes and I, I haven't found that in ESO. It feels like you're hitting air. That's a good, that's a good point. Um, yeah, like when you are fighting stuff, it doesn't, there's not like, there's no impact. Not like, even there's no real impact and there's no like, there's no psychological, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Yeah, lack of impact, lack of like... I don't know. It's 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 hard to pinpoint. I just don't. I uh, suffice to say, I don't enjoy the combat. I wish that the, like I wish I can get that level of storytelling and writing and voice acting and, and lore like in just a tab target MMO or or like a, a game with a better action combat system. Like if you want to go that route where you're not going to be tab target. Like, make a good action combat system. Like, make it fun, make it cool, like, prioritize it in third person so I can see the cool stuff my character's doing. And just make it good. And, like, just go away from, like, MMO combat entirely. Would be, would be more ideal. I don't know. They've had lots of years to iterate, so, like, if they, if they have not changed their combat system yet, then, yeah, I doubt that they're ever going to. Does the Bulwark have a flight point in Classic? No, absolutely not. The only, the only flight point over there is in Western Plaguelands. And as I found out yesterday, trying to do the run from Western Plaguelands really isn't worth it. It's really better to do what I just did every single time and just run from the lake. You know what would be a really cool item? You know how they added the backpack? The next item they have to add is the tent. Uh, the tent would be a place where you can pitch a tent. And then you can bind your hearthstone to that tent. And you can get rested XP in that tent. So that in this level range, you could camp out at Scarlet Monastery. 
you, you could set your buying point there. Maybe you got a little goblin vendor that shows up at your tent who you can like, you can repair, you can sell shit to. Like, how cool would that be? It, let me answer that for you. It would be really cool. I think the Volpera have something like that in retail. Isn't the Volpera racial ability the ability to like make a campsite and bind their hearthstone to it? Or like bind a different hearthstone to it? Or am I making that up? It's thinking about loading. <laughs> I, I don't really know what's stopping it, but I'm getting kind of worried. Okay, okay, it decided to load. That's good. That was a little bit scary. Uh, someone said uh, someone said we could get a sleeping bag. Where's that sleeping bag? No, no sleeping bag, apparently. Oh, well, I guess we lose our 3%. Uh, 10 minute buffs. 10 minute buffs. Hunter. Another hunter. A mage. We got two hunters, a mage, and a priest healer. And, and I think we, we are all here. We are, we are, we are good to go. I bought a metric crap ton of water. I have 81 sweet nectars. I'm kind of hoping that'll be enough. If it's not, then I don't know. hard to tank stuff when you're just like you you chain dazed I mean it's hard to tank stuff when you're a bad tank like I am like anyway I think it's already hard to tank because you're bad but then you're dazed and you can't press any buttons it makes it even harder Uh, not not necessarily my intention. Not really what I uh, what I thought we were gonna do when we walked into the courtyard here. Having any aura on would probably be better. Let's save ourselves here with a little bit of a uh, little bit of that, a little bit of this. <laughs> 
okay, okay. Yeah, everything's totally fine. It's all, we're all fine. I don't know if I have threat on any of this. Nobody has died yet, and I've come the closest, so I guess that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Who are you shooting? Oh, it's so rude. There we go. What about you? Oh, you hit, you're hitting me. That's nice. <laughs> nice job. It's not, I'm not doing a nice job. I'm doing a craptastical job of pulling too many enemies. Richard, good afternoon. Good job of staying alive. You can you can thank the healer for that. I did I didn't do anything to stay alive. All I did was get hit in the face a lot. There's no really there's no real skill involved in getting hit in the face a lot. All right, everyone looks okay. Well, I mean, I wish the mage had a little bit more mana, but I, I guess it's fine. I don't know why they're all the way back there. Release the hounds. I know I have a hound back there. I would love for whoever has that to kind of run it towards me. My, my taunt is a melee taunt. I can't taunt at range or hit at range. And I don't really want to drag all this stuff around just to pull one mob. But I guess that's uh, that's what we're doing. Hunter can't be bothered to move. If he moves, he has to stop shooting, so why would he move? Dog Whistle summons a tracking hound that will protect you for 10 minutes. You know, I, some people like to have gear, but I guess like a, a pet, a pet is fine. Like it's a combat pet of some kind, so that's cool. I guess this guy doesn't really drop any loot, like ever. I thought I had read that they went through here and they upgraded like a lot of the items in Scarlet Monastery, but now I think I must have been having like a dream. It must have been a dream that I had, like all of it fabricated, because like it doesn't seem like that's actually happened. Just chain, chain dazed. <laughs> they like it just it just must it just must suck to have a paladin tank. Like you gotta wait for them to get mana, but you don't have to wait for them to get mana. You're a, you're a hunter. You just pull the whole next room yourself. Like fuck it, who cares? Like, you know, you are a hunter. It's totally fine. You just pull you get bored of waiting for the tank to get mana back. Doesn't matter. Just pull everything. Who cares? It's fine. Totally fine. Everything's going swimmingly. This is exactly how it's supposed to be done. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drink after every pull to piss them off, and then we'll just see. Like I just want the hunter to pull every single pull. I, every time I'm low on mana, I'm just gonna drink. I'm gonna see. Maybe I'll get booted from this group for just being too effing slow to live. Fuck it. Why, why even line of sight? Why even, why even do anything that makes any sense? You know what the best thing to do is? Just do some crazy shit that makes no sense. And that seems to be like the best thing we can do to kind of satiate people's desire to, to go faster. We can just run around like a lunatic, slap a couple guys here and there, throw down a consecrate perhaps if we're feeling really wily. Like this person's gunning for somebody else, let's taunt them. This is just, this is the way to do it. It's more visually interesting as, as a giant cluster, but this is how, this is how it gets done now. This is what it is. I don't really know, like, I don't even think groups need tanks. I'm pretty sure that, like, if you just take some DPS into a run and, like, a, like at least one of the DPS is a plate wearer, like, you're good. You don't need a tank. Like, tanks are old news. You don't need someone to, like, traditionally tank shit. It's absolutely not necessary at all. Like, the way the classes are balanced, the way the classes are structured, there, there's no need for it. 
And, and then when you try to just like traditionally tank, it's like, it's useless. You know? There's, there's no reason to. I'd be better off... I'd be better off ditching my tanking runes, putting on a two-hander, going and getting Divine Storm, and just using Divine Storm through all this shit. Instead of trying to have like a tanking rune on that helps my block and it helps me take less damage, like that's not the way to do it. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, let's not, let's not worry. Let's not line of sight. Let's just here. We'll just come over here. We'll just do a little bit of this. Right here we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They're all slowed down. That's I don't have any mana, but don't, like, we don't need mana. Like that's fine. We we don't need mana necessarily. We can't we can't do anything with it. So. You're hitting somebody else, you're hitting somebody else, you're hitting somebody else. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Let's spread the damage. This is the, this is like, this is spreading the damage around the group. It's perfect because we don't die. Maybe somebody else does. It's good. Who needs heals? We don't need these things. Screw it. <laughs> Kill everything. I wish I had a two-hander and some other runes. I, I would put them on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Someone in the group is openly weeping. Yes, I know exactly how you feel. I know, I, I, I'm crying on the inside. Oh, someone's dead. Oh, <laughs> shit. Am I the only one that can res them? Like, uh, yeah, I, I must, I, I'll res. I think maybe the maid... Well, no, this is a priest. No, the priest can res. Okay, I have my mage and my priest confused. I don't know who's tanking. I don't know who's healing. I don't know who's DPS. It's fine. They don't They don't need me to know. They don't need me to know or do anything. They've got it. Let's re-up our 10-minute buffs. At least we can do something useful for this group. There we go. Perfect, perfect. I will give I will give everyone a minute to get mana back. Just just you know until the hunter pulls. <laughs> I just I just can't help but laugh because if I don't laugh I'll just cry it was the last day he ever tanked in his life it was the last time he ever picked up a shield oh sorry Let's, uh, let's get a big long drink in here and we will let the rest of the group go ahead and proceed to clear the dungeon.
<laughs> these pulls get very sketchy. I'm gonna say yep, especially when tanks don't have the opportunity to pull or to get a hit in. L O L. A lot of dots. <laughs> these pulls get really sketchy, says the hunter as he pulls the next group. I said, oh look, when a tank is the only one pulling, shit is under control. Oh my, oh my god. When the tank is the one that pulls, shit is under control. Amazing. Who would have thought that if you just, if you let the tank pull and get a little bit of threat, that that would be the cause to have the pulls feel under control. It's crazy. It's crazy. He says, no one else has pulled anything. Guys, have you seen the hunter pull a couple times? <laughs> uh... <laughs> You're right, the hunter has never pulled. I have been the only one pulling groups. <laughs> Nobody else has pulled a single a single mob. I have pulled every pull in this dungeon myself personally. Absolutely. <laughs> you will not defile these mysteries. <laughs> I said my chat thinks that the hunters have pulled a little bit. I think we, we think the hunters have pulled a little bit couple times we think <laughs> yeah, I mean, right they're, 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 no one else has pulled anything nobody else has been pulling it's you we've let you pull everything I don't know my fucking group is trying to gaslight me my group I never thought I would have a pug in World of Warcraft try to fucking gaslight me I can't believe it I can't believe it I'm being gaslit in World of Warcraft Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dear lord. Okay. Okay, so maybe I'm not inviting any more hunters. <laughs> Need on the hunters drops? There, uh, there aren't any in here, unfortunately. There's nobody. There's nothing in here for anybody unless you're a caster. If you're a caster, there's decent stuff. I can't believe that they said that. I can't believe they said that nobody else has pulled anything. Oh my god, I'm not running with these people again. I absolutely will not do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna try to tank one more run. I thought. I thought yesterday was kind of like a fluke about how I felt about tanking. I thought like, well, maybe this is just a fluke. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's a one-off. So I thought I'd come back today and a little bit refreshed and uh, try to see if maybe like anything could be different about my experience. But um, it, it does seem like maybe people are mainly just like raving asshats who just want to go, 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 go. And if all the groups want to go, 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 like, I'm not going to tank or heal. Like, I'm not going to tank or heal in that in that type of environment. So we'll give it another one. And then we'll see. We'll see what we do after that. Uh, let's see. Healer.
already in a group. Damn, people are snatching them up fast. Uh, let's see. Oh god, Walgreens. We gotta get Walgreens. This thing is so sporadic, it moves around. Walgreens is already in a group. This is fucking brutal. It's brutal to try to get groups. Like, you can't find healers. Oh my god. Okay. Like, I don't want to spam, because if I spam, I'm going to get all effing hunters. Uh, let's see. I don't want any hunters. I wish I could make it stay still. Like, it keeps adding people, and then it moves, and then my eyes lose focus. Yes. I, I'm doing. I'm. I don't plan to. I don't plan to invite hunters if I can avoid it. It's already in a group. They're sniping mages now. Rogue. We need, we need one more non-hunter DPS. There we go, now we only need heals. Damn, man, as soon as a healer pops in, there's like, boom, that's it. They're, that's it, they're, they're snatched. Uh, let's see. This guy's like, can you summon? I think I can summon. Uh, let's see. I think we just lost it. I think it just went away. Is that gonna work? <laughs> oh my god. Did we get it? We got him. I think I think we got him. Maybe not. Yeah, we did. We got we got one person here. Oh my god. <laughs> Mmm, the Warlock Summoning Stones. Mmm. The Warlock's like, can anybody help summon? No. How about you drop a stone and do us all a favor? Oh, maybe, maybe everyone is here. Maybe we're good. Let's see. Maybe the priest was the only... Oh, look, a sleeping bag. I will, I will lay in the sleeping bag with five other people. What's wrong with that? Oh, crap. Okay, so yeah, let's see. We have two rogues, we have a mage, and we have a priest. So we don't have any hunters. And we'll see, like, who is... I guess the rogues are going to be the ones that, like, go ahead and pull for me, right? Like, there's going to be someone in every group 
who uh, as soon as I sit for mana, as soon as I have to stop for mana, like they're gonna pull the next group. We don't have tents yet. We need tents. We need tents as a place to bind our hearthstone. Or bind like a separate hearthstone. I don't know. The tents would be nice. How long do we have to lay here? We have to lay here for three minutes? I don't want I don't really want to lay here for three minutes, to be quite to be quite honest. As soon as everyone else is up, I'm gonna pop up. I hate this thing. I don't think the three percent is worth it. If it were fifteen percent, I would feel differently. I hope that it gets buffed in the future. But then again, I, part of me hopes that it's not going to get buffed in the future because I don't plan to get it on any other character. I, I, I don't plan to go after it again. But apparently you can sleep in anybody's, so as long as you find a bedroll laying on the ground, like you can get the buff. Like You don't even need to have yours. You just need to be somewhere where other people are laying them down. Yeah, oh god. Three minutes, three minutes of just laying in a sleeping bag. If I, if I get it stacked to two, I'd be happy. Okay, I'm, I'm up, I can't do that. Nope, 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 let's go, I wanna go. See, now I'm the one that's impatient. Who needs buffs? Let's pull. If I if I pull it by surprise, then that gives me more time to hit the mobs. I have to pull when everybody else is like not ready for it. Then I'll have time to get some aggro. How <laughs> I feel about people spooning up with randos? I feel like it's really funny that you can use anybody's bag. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense. Uh, but I feel like it's fine. That was not where I wanted that Avenging Shield to go. That really sucks. Oh no, wait, do we have a warrior? We do have a warrior. Okay, I don't know what I thought we had. Apparently we have a warrior. I just, I just know we don't have any hunters. That's all I know for sure. Daniel, good afternoon. How am I doing today? I'm doing I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. I don't know how our career as a future tank is doing. That might be like that, that might be like on the rocks, on the ice, whatever insert random metaphor here. Yeah, our our career as a tank is on a slippery slope. But I'm doing great, personally. Yeah, they they did. They buffed everyone's damage, but not the tank's threat. And you to get the, to get an adequate amount of threat, you have to use this rune. While you know this ability, the threat bonus from Righteous Fury is increased by eighty percent. Threat is so bad for tanks that paladins had to have a rune that's part of their taunt that increases Righteous Fury threat by eighty percent. Because without this rune, you don't hold any threat. With the rune. You can, if you get a head start and you kind of get in there first, you can hold a little bit of threat. But without the rune, you you can't tank. You can't tank without it. it it's impossible without that bonus 80% threat to Righteous Fury. Like instead of just buffing Righteous Fury and making it actually function, you, they make you have to have the taunt rune on for it to work. Like how stupid is that? Same issue on the warrior, it feels impossible. Yeah, it feels impossible, and like the efforts you put in to actually succeed at it, they feel pointless. The mobs can run everywhere, anybody can pull, anybody can get, take a bunch of hits, the healer can heal everybody up. You're sitting there stressing out about every mob that's not hitting you. Like, meanwhile, nobody cares, and it doesn't matter. That's the worst part. <laughs> it's like, it's not even that I can't hold threat and we're wiping. Nothing bad is really happening. We lost one guy one time in like a mega messy pull. 
But other than that, it doesn't matter, and that makes it even worse. Like, if my efforts aren't gonna matter, like, if I don't have to tank it, like, why the fuck am I tanking? Like this, like this, this is not good, but hey, it's gonna be fine, because if all of us tanks one of them, then we're gonna be okay. Any other mode of the game, like, anybody starts getting hit, they're gonna die. Right now, like, no one's gonna die here, even though a bunch of people are taking damage. Like, I'm not holding threat on all this at all, not even close. And I'm doing everything I can to hold threat. I've had Consecrates down, I got Righteous Fury up, I'm taunting, I'm cooldown. Like, I'm trying to hold everything. But it isn't working, and it doesn't matter. See how we're fine? Like, the priest is not even at half mana, and like, we're fine. That's really the only person that can't be getting hit. It's like you don't you don't want the healer getting hit, really. But anybody else can just tank it. Like, look, we got our warrior over here off tanking. It's totally fine. And like my thing is like that's okay. Like if that's how the game is, if it's totally fine, that's okay. But it changes whether or not I want to be a tank. If it's okay for everyone to be getting hit, and it's okay for the tank not to hold aggro in these runs. And, and like maybe tanks are only really needed in the raids it changes my feelings about wanting to be a tank when that's how the game is, is just played like it's okay for the game to be that way but then again like maybe I don't want to fucking tank if that's how the game is release the hounds Like, already the boss is attacking- my, my taunt's on cooldown. Already the boss is attacking somebody else. It's- people deal a shit ton of damage. And even my bonus 80% threat off of Righteous Fury really isn't enough. And I know, I know some smartass on YouTube right now is gonna say, Well, if, if you if you had Divine Storm, you just Divine Storm your way through everything, and I Divine Storm, and it's fine, and nothing ever drops off of me, because I just Divine Storm. Don't know why you're not using Divine Storm. I'm not using Divine Storm because it's not a fucking tanking rune. I'm using a tanking rune because I'm a tank, and that's what I feel like a tank should do. So that's why I'm not using Divine Storm. But thank you in advance for your wholly unwelcome input on the fact that if I had a, a DPS AoE ability, that I would be a better tank. I appreciate that. If I can't hold threat anyway, why not just use Crusader Strike? Yeah, like, probably I should. I probably should just go back to Crusader Strike. That way, I, at least I'd always have mana. And I could continue to hold threat on maybe one mob per pull. Right, it's... I don't know, because I guess, like, part of me wants to try. Like, part of me, that's the problem, is, like, even though it's not set up to really do it, like, part of me wants to try to tank everything, and, like, what's helping is having a taunt I can blast on cooldown. So, yeah, I, I should probably go back to just doing what I was doing. But I am trying to be, like, a decent tank, so, like, having a taunt is kind of part of that. But, yeah, obviously it's not, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really seem to matter... Yeah, I'm sure, right, I'm trying to act in good faith. I'm not trying to, like, go... I'm not trying to go with a DPS build and come into the dungeon as a tank. I'm trying to be a tank. It just isn't really working, and it doesn't really seem to matter. The dungeons feel more like retail now yeah like a little bit they do yeah that's why like people tell me oh i just i just do divine storm and crusader strike and i run through the dungeon and it's fine it's like yeah it's fine because you're probably dealing a shit ton of damage everything's probably dying super fast and there's no reason to worry about tanking stuff 
like that's probably why it's fine but if you're trying to tank traditionally like it, it doesn't really work and it doesn't really seem to matter No, Riddles, all that's going on is that tank tanking sucks in Season of Discovery. Traditional tanking sucks in Season of Discovery. Like, if you're trying to be a tank like would exist in Classic Era, then th that kind of tanking doesn't really seem to exist or be viable. That's all. They didn't change anything. It's been like this. We're just seeing it now. We're, ju we're just seeing it now. No nothing has probably changed. Am I going to do hardcore solo cell phone? I'm not sure. I, I don't have a huge interest in it because it's not a fresh start server. It's just a little checkbox on the character. Um, and I just, I really don't know. If I if I do, it might be maybe like a recorded series. But I'm, I'm kind of holding off on starting any series because uh, Last Epoch is coming out on the 21st. And I really, really want to play a ton of Last Epoch. So I'm not trying to like start a bunch of shit and then like never be able to have time to play it so so I don't know I don't think there's gonna be a lot of hype on solo cell phone honestly I don't feel a lot of hype for it They're literally second party. We have a mage. I think we could pull a bit more. Up to heals, KK. Oh, guys, did you know we could pull a bit more? I, I didn't realize. I just, I know, I I just I thought maybe we were pulling okay. I don't really know. I guess, like, realistically, maybe we could, we could pull a little more. Let's pull a little more, guys. Let's just, I, we've been pulling really slow. I don't want to upset the group or anything, so let's just pull more. If they said pull more, we're going to do it. I'm sure it's fine. Now, now, I don't have threat on anything but this one guy, but, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure that's okay. I, I don't feel like there's a big problem with this. We have a mage. We have a mage, so we can pull more. This, this was not enough. I should probably pull more than this. I should probably pull more. Yeah, I feel like that went well. well granted, it's not it's not over yet, but I, I feel like it went fine. There you go, guys. It, apparently, I do need to pull more. They, they're not they're not messing around. Like he was serious. He, he was completely serious. Well, we need to pull more. It's all become clear to me now.
Are there any mobs left? Then pull more. It's, they don't care if the mobs run around the place. That's the thing. They don't care. It doesn't matter. They don't need to stack on me. Because I don't need to have all the threat. The mobs can run around everywhere. It doesn't matter. It's not detrimental to the run. It's not detrimental to the run. Like, I'm going to be smart here and at least let the healer get his mana back. But, like, it's not detrimental. It doesn't matter. No. None of the things that we think of about, like, how to handle the dungeon in Classic, how to tank in Classic, it doesn't matter here. None of it matters. Like, this is what it is. Like, it's just pulling things, you pull things, you go from mob to mob, I'll hit you, I'll hit you, I'll stun you, like, it doesn't, it, nothing you do is really gonna matter. Because the DPS is gonna come out, they're gonna blow everything up, the healer's gonna top everybody off, like, it's fine. It's totally fine. Well, there we go. <laughs> that might have been that might have been too much, but maybe maybe they can clean it up. The healer still has half of his mana. Come on, come on! No, the mage is down. Okay, if the mage is down, that's a run. That's run over. <laughs> uh, Great ghost says, "Are you gonna bother with the next phase of sod?" Yeah, I'm gonna bother with it. I might not be tanking in it, but I'm gonna bother with it, and I'm gonna bother you while I play it. <laughs> oh shite should have pulled the boss too for good measure right <laughs> uh, the monks hurt they, they said the monks hurt it's, the monks hurt the monks hurt me too so now they're like now they're like m this is a quote might want to only pull like four or five <laughs> I was pulling like three or four, and they were like, we, maybe we should pull more, we have a mage. I get them killed one time, they're like, maybe we should only pull like four or five. Really? Do you think so? Like, we, we could pull anywhere from three to five, but three to five was too few. It was too few, so we pulled more. Grey Ghost, you love my sarcasm? I'm not sure, my friend, if that is sarcasm. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard it's hard to know.
it's 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 more like pragmatism masked by sarcasm like everything i'm saying is real i feel cynical about it all so it sounds like sarcasm but really it's just cynicism the facts are, are real this run doesn't need a tank tank this run needs a, another dps this this run needs a, a plate wearer who is a dps and they don't they don't really need a tank i'm not oh this is graveyard shit is this graveyard um I don't know. I can't tell the difference. I think I'm in library. I think they're in graveyard. Apparently we have respawns, like, way back here. Maybe we're in Graveyard. Yeah, I have no fucking idea. They all look the same to me. I, I don't know. They all look exact- the entryway, the, the first ho hallway in all of these runs it looks exactly the same to me. I can't tell the difference. Library- library on the right. If it were library on the left, that'd be easier to remember because it'd be like left for L, L for library. Li it's library on the right. That's true, the ghost run here is not bad. Yeah, the, the run back to the dungeon for, for Monastery is not bad. That's the positive thing. And the dungeon itself is not that big. So, getting back to a realm where we died is not a big deal. Yeah, here, we're already here. We seem to be ready. They said three or five, they said, here, we'll go back to this. And last time I was pulling like this, they said this was too few. They said this is not enough. They said, please don't pull like this, it hurts us. And I pulled more, and then I pulled too many. I will, I will, I will pull this whole corner, so we'll, do, we'll try a five pull. And we will, we'll see how that goes. We'll do this, we'll come over here, we'll lay one of these, we'll hide behind the pillar. And we'll see. The mage is, is still gonna get himself killed. Like, I literally, I only have the one taunt. The taunt is on a 10 second cooldown. I don't have any other way to deal a burst of rage. I, I could I could turn Righteous Fury on, I could do that. That is within my power to do. Absolutely. I'll turn on Righteous Fury. I'll do us all a favor. I wish it would just stay on. I wish the auras and the, the permanent buffs if it's a, I noticed that they changed, they changed the sleeping bag. We don't lose the sleeping bag anymore. Just leave my permanent buffs alone. If it's a buff that's up constantly or it's an aura, just don't take it away when I die. I'm stupid. I forget shit. Just do me a favor. If it's a timed buff, then yeah, like get rid of it. But if it's a permanent buff, just leave it. 
just let it persist. Just for just for people like me who are just not intellectually fucking mystery. challenged. Caster stuff, right? That's cool. Intellect spirit. So yeah. So that's that's that. And what am I gonna do next? What level is armory? I have no idea. No, it's it not anytime soon. I think like 36 to 38. Herod Herod is what? Level 38? 39? Yeah, I, I I don't know. I mean, no, it doesn't matter. I probably can't run it anytime soon. Uh do I do I wanna do another? I don't really want to. No. Yep. I'm I'm out of this one. Okay, I need to I need to go bio. I gotta step away for a second. I'm going to take a quick break and uh, I'm gonna refill my coffee and I'll be back. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do uh, with the rest of today. I don't know if I'm gonna keep leveling this character right now or if I'm gonna go on a DPS. I don't really know if I want to tank. It, it seems like tanking is like I think I got I got used to like hardcore tanking, where like everything is slow, everything is measured. Uh, and slow, where an environment where like slowness is appreciated, where like people appreciate that you're taking your time, uh, that you're using line of sight and stuff like that. And I think I, I got too used to that style of tanking. Um, and that's not that's not what groups need. Uh, it isn't it isn't same thing like you know like I, I take like I take tanking runes. You know I take like Aegis, and people are like, why, why the hell are you not using uh, Crusader Strike or whatever um, Divine Storm? Divine Storm is OP. I, I use Divine Storm and I'm a professional gamer. And I'm like, okay, well, in my mind, it makes sense to use the tanking room. But that, that mindset is too old school uh, for, like, the way groups are run today in WoW. Like, even now in Season of Discovery. So, like, with that in mind, like, you know, the paradigm has changed. Tanking is, is handled differently than what I'm used to or than what I like. And so maybe I can't tank. Maybe if I don't want to bitch every single time I do a dungeon run or group content, maybe I shouldn't tank. Because it doesn't seem like I'm really connecting with it. <laughs> so that, that's kind of my thoughts. I'll leave you guys with that for now. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in a little bit.
And we're back. Help you find something? Light bless you. Okay, so somewhere in the inn there's a there's a quest turn in. Somewhere. Uh maybe upstairs. Is this the Wily quest? It is. What can I do for you? See you later. Have a good one. How are you? Uh, I don't think I'm doing See any quest later. here yet. Um, what were we doing on this character? I have no idea what we were doing, where we were going, or what was going on. I've got no clue. Um, part of me thinks that maybe we were going to go to Lock Madan. Part, part of me thinks maybe that. But we might not have to do that with the XP buff. Yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm hanging out on this character for a minute because, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I might be I might be over tanking. We could do DPS on on the pally. Yeah, I, if I did DPS on the Pally, I have to go get the um, I have to go get the the Divine Storm Rune. We we could do that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Do you guys think I could solo the stuff for the for the Divine Storm Room at at thirty three? Could I solo it, or would I still need people? I know I have to kill some elites in Red Ridge at some point. There's a lot of traveling around. But there's there's elites in the tower of Athalax. I know I can I can probably take those guys out, and then there's elites in Red Ridge. I have to farm. I think at level thirty three, like maybe we would be able to do that. Hmm. Okay. Let, let's 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 go get the rune. How about that? How about how about we we go get the rune on the Pally? And if we can get the rune, then we're probably in a pretty good spot just to like change our loadout. And just go straight up DPS. I have a blue. I have a blue two-hander in the bank. Now it's not the best. Maybe we can buy a replacement. We'll see. Let's. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, so we are set in South Shore. The first place we have to go is the Tower of Athalax. I'll, I'll pull up a guide, but I remember some of it. The Tower of Athalax, or whatever it is, uh, in Darkshore. Ooh, that's some weird graphical lag. That was very strange. Ooh, that's not good. Why is that happening? Okay, we seem to be fine now. That was a very weird little graphical hiccup. Very strange. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Okay, we seem to be fine now. Let's just pretend like it never happened. Let's just pretend like it never happened. My my chrome window is messed up. There we go. Okay, we need to get the Anthalax Orb from the top of the tower. That's the first step. Mm, 
guys, I might have to do a restart. I think I think I'm gonna have to do a restart really quick. My PC is running very, very strangely, and I don't like it. All right, we should be back. Guys, let me know when I'm actually back. I think we're back. I'm just not 100%. Yeah, I had to I had to do a restart. My computer was being very funky. I had a lot of graphical slowdown in the game. I had some like just slowdown in other windows that were not the game, and I thought to myself, "Robert, you need to restart your PC every day, my friend." Uh, but the reality is I haven't restarted my PC in a long time. So I think it's yeah, it's running fine now. I think it's needed a restart. Either that or, or like something's about to go catastrophically wrong with it. One, one or the other. So we'll see what happens. We seem to be okay now. Sorry guys. I tried to, I tried to say something about having to restart. I don't know if that part, if we were already down by then. But okay. Now that we've lost half of you guys, let's keep going. Greetings. Uh, we need to get back to Menethil Harbor so we can there jump was. on the boat. Let me update the title of my stream. There we go, going after the Divine Storm Rune Solo. That is what we are doing. How is how is Pally DPS? Is it pretty okay, or or does it suck? <laughs> it that doesn't really matter. I, I think it is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we'll do, we'll just we'll just DPS on this character, right? Right? Why why waste the effort? We we put a lot of work into the character. You know, we're we're leveling pretty okay. Let, let's go. Let's get some DPS stuff together. And you know, we can still do some runs. I, I'd like I'd like to wait till we can do armory. And once we can do armory, then we could try to get into some runs. You know, maybe we we could even still tank armory. I just don't think like that long term. I want to be a tank. So why can't I solo it, Daniel? What part of it? What part of it can't I solo? You'll need to be a little bit more specific because I can definitely kill the mobs. Yeah, if the mobs are like level twenty five, I, I can definitely kill the mobs fine. If it's just like elites, but if there's something specific, I'll have to have more information about it. If we need to find somebody at some point, we'll we will. But I'm gonna I'm gonna solo all of it until there's for some reason some kind of hard stop in my ability to do so. <clears throat> yeah, I mean I'm sure their AOE DPS is good. I don't think I don't think we have like really any DPSing runes at all. So we'll have to take a look at some other runes as well. Will I respect? Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll we'll spec whatever seems best for like for for damage dealing. Like, yeah, let's just go let's go full with it. And then no, if we do any runs, we'll queue up as DPS and we'll either get into a group or we won't. And that's how we'll do it. We are just go we are just going to like completely become a DPS paladin. That is going to be our new identity, and we're just going to make it work. And uh, yeah. I, I bet when I go DPS, I'll have threat on every single mob in the dungeon. Yeah, like once I once I go full DPS, I'll have no problem with threat. The problem with threat will be that I'm not supposed to have it. But hey, I won't mind. <laughs> when I'm the DPS who's getting hit by all the mobs, but I'm not dying, like I won't mind. So let's do that. That sounds more fun. It sounds more fun to be the DPS that has all the aggro than to be the tank who's struggling to get aggro. Like, it's pretty obvious when you think about it like that. Like, do you want to be the badass DPS that just has threat on everything when he's not supposed to? Or do you want to be the tank that's like, Oh, I taught this guy in my Righteous Fury. He's not doing enough. Ugh. Like, which person do you want to be? 
I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> I'm the tank now. Right, like you just take over. As the, then, then it's fine. Then the enemies are all hitting you, but it doesn't matter. Because you're still wearing heavy armor, you still got a lot of stamina, and the healer's just healing you instead of the tank. It's obvious. This is what we're doing. We're going to become that person. It, I know, we'll pull for the... Just to be really considerate, we'll also pull for the tank. We'll pull for him too. You know, to be... Just to help him out, obviously. We'll just to help him. So we'll, not only will we, will we <laughs> hold threat on all the enemies, we will also help the tank pull. So, because we know it's a tough job. So... <laughs> Let's do that. Let's just be the badass DPS. And then I never have to complain again about holding threat, about how tanking sucks, about how I have to use stupid runes that I don't like. Like, I'll just use cool runes that I do like, and I'll, and I'll slap stuff. Yep. <laughs> and today, the game lost another tank. If I pull, pull no less than five mobs. Yeah, right, right, absolutely. If I pull, I gotta pull at least five. If I'm not pulling five and tanking three of them, then I'm not doing my job as a badass DPS class. It's pretty clear. All right. And then like after this, I'll look at what other runes we need. Cause obviously I I'm assuming we keep Crusader Strike. So we'll need, we'll need one other one other rune for deeps and then I guess we'll eventually guys eventually we'll want to find some some phase 2 runes because I, I haven't found any phase 2 runes and I'm level 33 so eventually we'll want to do that too I'll have to look them up I think because I don't know if we're going to stumble across any yeah this is going to be great I'm going to be a better tank and a better DPS by going DPS this is perfect it's perfect Guys, I ended up on the boat to uh, to Theramore. <laughs> um, I took I took the wrong-ish boat to get to Kalimdor, didn't I? Um, can we fly? We could probably fly. Do you guys think I could fly? I guess I should have just taken the Aberdeen boat. I should have taken the Aberdeen boat. I came to Theramore instead. Let's see what a flight point looks like up to uh, up to Aberdeen. My guess, nine minutes. If I even have a connector. That's my guess. Ratchet should be the connector, right? No, I feel like we've had this happen before. I bet I don't have the connector. Let's see. Oh, good. Good, we do. Um, 13 minutes? <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, is it is it worth just getting back on the boat and taking the boats? 13, 13 minutes? Oh no. Oh, and the boat's leaving. 13 minutes? Fuck. I took the wrong boat to Kalimdor. This was not this was not the boat I wanted to take. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have- damn, I thought like, you know, even if there's gonna be a flight, I didn't think it would be 13 minutes. It takes us all the way up to Aberdeen and then back down to Astronar. It has to go further north to get us back, it can't take us directly to. Otherwise it would have been about 9 minutes. Because the flight directly to Aberdeen was 10 minutes and 22 seconds. So had we not had to fly up to Aberdeen and then back down to Astronar, it would have been- it would have been a little bit more manageable. But no, that wasn't manageable at all. I, it's it's going to take less time to get the boats. In the meantime, I'm going to look at some of the other runes that I might want. Let's see. What do we got? Let's look at phase one first. So we have Crusader Strike, Inspiration Exemplar we have, Rebuke we have, Aegis we have, Seal of Martyrdom we have, Horn of Lordaeron. Paladin blows the Horn of Lordaeron, which increases total strength and agility of all party members by thir in 30 yards by 6. Exclusive with Blessing of Might. I don't know what that means. Like it takes the... 
it takes the place of. That's a chess piece. Hand of Reckoning, we have Beacon of Light, I don't need. Divine Sacrifice, I don't need. Avenger Shield, I have. Divine Storm, we're gonna go after. And then Exorcist, that's it. I have the, um, I have the Librum for Exorcist. I haven't fulfilled it yet. So like, we can do that whenever. You can now cast Exorcism on any target. Okay, that's for legs. So yeah, because I'm not seeing really any other good DPS things for legs. Unless... Yeah, Divine Storm is chest. And then I don't... Yeah, Exorcist for legs, I guess? Let's look at phase... Let's look at phase 2 stuff. So if I was looking... Okay, these are just belts. Belts and, uh, and boots. Enlightened Judgment increases the range of your judgment by 30 yards. Sheath of Light, dealing damage in in with your melee weapon increases your spell power, that's a healing thing. Infusion of Light, increase the damage done by your Holy Shock. And your damaging crit strikes with Holy Shock reset the cooldown on Holy Shock and Exorcism. And refund the cost of Holy Shock. What is that? Am I going to be like a Shockadin? Can I be a Shockadin? Guardian of Light. Each time you hit a target with your melee weapon, you gain 5% of your max mana per 5. That's a healing thing. Sacred Shield is a healing thing. Art of War. So we want Art of War. Your melee crit strikes reset the cooldown on Holy... Yeah, I'm going to be a Shockadin. I need, I need Art of War... And then I need to do, 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 do infusion of light. Okay, so where do I get these? Infusion of light. Uh, let's see. Travel to Deadwind Pass with the Dalaran agent at Aridin's camp. Oh, okay. With the sigil equipped. Or while another player has the single equip, players must find and kill seven Dark Riders. Dark Rider Elites. I can't get this. This this is a group thing at level 40, it looks like. Oh my gosh. You have to kill seven of them, and they're spread all around the world. The Dark Riders are in Deadwind Pass, Duskwood, Swamp of Sorrows, Arathi Highlands, Badlands, the Barrens, and Deathless. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> what the F? Okay, what about Art of War? Uh, Art of War rune Desolus. Obtain the highway robbery quest in Desolus at the extinguished campfire northwest of the Kodo graveyard. Go near Cormac's hut. Turn the quest in. Pick up the next quest. Go to Booty Bay. To the inn. Go to Rathi Highlands, find some dude, talk to a night elf. Th these are these are like pretty, pretty long little chains, and also they they only really seem doable once you're level forty. The one of them one of them requires you to kill multiple elites, so you're gonna have to be grouped up for that. The the so like none of the runes in phase two are ever gonna be runes that you just kind of like stumble upon. Like, like, you know, in phase one, you would just occasionally like, come across, like, a thing that was a new rune. That doesn't seem like that could really happen uh, in phase two. They all seem very specific, and you have, to, you have to go out of your way. For holy shock, you had to be specced into holy. Shit. Really? That's really weird, because I didn't, I didn't see any other really good DPS stuff, like, at all. Like when I look at when I look at the the phase two runes, like those are the only ones that sounded like DPS things. Like Sacred Shield is a heal, guarded by the light. Uh, that's a mana per five thing. Like okay, so getting mana per five back, I guess, could be good, but it has a healing effect too. Infusion of Light, that's the one that increases Holy Shock damage. Sheath of Light, dealing damage with your melee weapon increases your spell power. I guess, like, that could be okay. So maybe, as a DPS, you take Sheath of Light? 
And enlightened judgments on the belt, I guess? I mean... Because, yeah, I don't foresee specking into holy. Sheath of Light starts in Desolus at Manor Rock Cove. And then in Enlightened Judgments. Uh, let's see, you need to gather tarnished prayer beads, purify them into divine prayer beads, and then turn them into Brother Atticus. I, I, would, I don't know where I would gather tarnished prayer beads. Arathi Highlands wetlands known to drop from various humanoid mobs. So I have to be able to go to Arathi Highlands or wetlands, which we can do. Known to drop from various humanoids including Syndicate, Rogues, Witherbark, Medicine Men, various types of Dark Iron Dwarves, Boulderfist Ogres. Okay, so I, I have stuff to do either in, probably in Arathi Highlands. To get the... Um, Enlightened Judgments. That seems doable, like, soonish. We could, pro we could probably do that one, like, soon. But okay, I will, I will try to focus up and we can see if we can at least get, um... Get Divine Storm taken care of first. So, like, I guess I don't understand the point of the holy shock runes unless there is, like, a holy... I guess it's part of, like, the healing build, I guess? Because ho I guess holy shock is also a heal, isn't it? So that that's m just for healers, then. It seems like that'd be, like, a cool, like, way to DPS, though. But yeah, it's at the bottom of the tree. Like, that's that's really intense. Once we get Divine Storm, we'll do a, a respec. I, I still think we're coming down here, though. Like, Divine Strength is, like, a definite. <laughs> unless, unless we're gonna do, like, a Seal of Command build. Are we gonna try, are we gonna try a Seal of Command build? Seal of Command build, it, it, maybe it'll be better in Season of Discovery. Maybe I should do this. So, we'll come here for five points. And then we'll go full into, into Ret. And we'll grab, we'll grab Seal of Command. I'll do it this time. And we'll see how it goes. Am I excited to do Nomer? Um, listen, Nomer Gun is my least favorite five man of all time. I hate the layout. I hate the music. I hate the theme. Did I mention the music, the layout, and the theme? I, it's like really it's really the one five man that I don't like that I that I won't do like while I level up I basically would never do no Morgan. Um so that's the that's the thing am I excited about it like I'm interested to see it I, I'm gonna I'm planning to see it you know I, I didn't kill all the bosses in BFD and I, I was never really sad about that I got to see the dungeon like four times five times and had my fill of it um, yeah. Nomer's the worst, in your opinion. Yes, Nickel Fritz, I agree. And so, like, when it comes to raiding, like, what I'm excited about is level 60. To me, like, the raids on the way to 60 are just, like, fun things to go see. You know, it's not, like, to farm for my bis. Because you, you can't have your bis when you're not max level yet. And it's, it's just, like, for me, it's just, like, the experience of seeing it a couple times is enough. Like... So I'm not really, like, excited about the raids, like, on the way to 60, unless they're new. You know, if they were to design a new dungeon with a new layout, or if they were to rearrange the layout of an existing dungeon, then that would be cool, because then I'd be seeing, like, something new. But, like, with BFD, like, I've been through BFD a bazillion times. 
Like, visually, I've seen it a bazillion times. Yeah, the bosses are different. Whatever, but like, visually, it's just kind of like boring to run through it because you've ran through it so much. And, and No More Gone is much the same, except it's my least favorite dungeon. So I, I'd be really interested to see like something new. When, when they start making like new content or revised content at 60, I, I think that's when it'll be more interesting. Than just taking the five mans and saying, okay, five mans is different boss mechanics, here's your, here's your raid. It's a cool idea. It just isn't for me. It's not like super engaging over like a long period of time. I should have been keeping time to see if the if the 13 minute flight would have been faster than coming back and getting the right boat. I, I think it's going to be close. Maybe someone will go back in the playhead and see like how once we get there like did it take me more than 13 minutes to go back and get the other boat? Would the 13 minute flight point have somehow been optimal after missing the correct boat the first time? Boats are more fun. Yeah, maybe. At least like taking the boat, I had to run around a little bit. I did. I didn't fish like I meant to, but that's okay. <laughs> Boats are fun as long as you don't fall off. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right. So yeah, we're we're going all the way up here. That's right. It's it's gonna mark it for us now. On the map. Mellow fellow, good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. Mellowfella, all servers are basically alliance locked right now, really? Oh man, I didn't know they were still doing that. They did that when Saad first launched. But I didn't realize that it was so unbalanced right now that they were locking alliance character creation. That does suck. 
Yeah, that, that's a bad time. I wonder if in the next phase we'll see the buffs go up to 30 minutes, or maybe at 60, they'll have the buffs for like the blessings go up to 30 minutes. Or, or give us like the greater blessings so that we can, not only will it be 30 minutes, but it hits, it hits all of that class in the group. That would be nice to see at level 60. Um, I don't need a group. I'm not doing that quest. I'm going into the tower. Okay. So we need to go all the way to the top of the tower. Level 29. Okay, okay. So, like, these are not elites. These are just higher level enemies. For some reason, I thought these guys were also elites. I, you know, I could change my rune back. I, I don't need taunt right now. Probably be a good idea before I get going here. I hear battle sounds. Someone's up here. Yeah, see, there's already somebody up here. This is this is the guy we need. This was him. He is now dead. Oh wait, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just on the desk. Maybe he's not consequential at all. So there we go. Look at that. We just need him to not be in our way. That's easy enough. Okay. So there we go. We got we got we have an item. Um I don't know what we do next. We take this to somebody. Let's see. Um I'm not even tracking the right room here. Okay. 
bring it to Delgren the Purifier. So that guy, he is he is in Ashenvale at Maestro's Maestro's Post. Is that what it's called? Okay, so out now we have to run to Maestro's Post. It's a little bit of a hike. Just a little bit of a hike. Is the run going to be shorter from from Aberdeen? Like, if we run from Aberdeen... Yeah, or, or no, look, we fly to Astronar. I, I think flying to Astronar would make it shorter. We're going to, yeah, we're going to do that. It's going to make it a little bit shorter for us. Philip, it's a good question, man. I have the same thought every single time I have to open Wowhead. I don't have a good answer for you. Yeah, when I imagined the season of Discovery, I didn't realize that the thing we'd be discovering was going to be all just like our new abilities. I thought we would be like randomly finding cool shit out in the world, treasure chests, rares that dropped awesome loot, and new quests and stuff like that. Uh, but then it turned out the only discoveries were, were the runes, and most of the runes, you literally, you have to look them up. Otherwise, you would never get on the right course. So yeah, I don't know why it's like that. It does, it sucks. It's kind of, for me, like, rune acquisition for me is the least, the least fun part of the season. It's, like, supposed to be the theme of the season, and for me, like, having to use Wowhead and do all this stuff, like, it's the least fun part of the season. The abilities themselves are awesome. It's really cool to see the class changes. But rune acquisition is the worst. Yeah, it's not really hinting. It's not like... I would rather take a quest for every one of them and have the quest have a little bit of like a hint. Like a secret you have to find based on a, on a hint. I would rather have it be something like that. Where it's like I can actually... At least I can know where to start. Like give me a quest to start. And then like give me enough information to like let me try to figure it out for myself. But give me the give me the starting point at least. Don't hide the starting point from t from me, because then I have to look it up. Then I have to look up the starting point. Like oh, top of the Tower of Athlax. Like I would never go up there for anything. So okay, okay. So that's where it starts. Uh, but if it started with a quest, then at least you could like you know kind of piece it together on your own if you wanted to. But they didn't do it like that. So in like it looks like when I looked at the phase two ones, they seem to just be continuing to make it worse. Yeah, like the fa the phase two ones are all the phase two ones are all like the one we're doing right now, basically. It didn't seem like there were many where you could just stumble upon them in the open world. How like a couple of the phase one runes, at least you could stumble upon them. Uh, the phase two, they they don't none of them that I looked at seemed like that. They seem like you would have to look it up beforehand and know exactly what you're doing in order to to get the to get the item to get the ability. I mean, it's, it's good for Wowhead, like, you know, it's a great time to be Wowhead. And then also, like, you know, eventually they get added to Questy, which is a little bit more helpful. Yeah, that's what, I think that's what we thought. Like, it would, we thought, I, I kind of thought it would be more like Elden Ring. Like, I thought that's, I thought, like, Elden Ring was what, what they were kind of going for when they were talking about secrets, new things in the world, new rare spawns and new quests. I thought, oh... They're gonna just hide a bunch of content. I didn't realize they were they were gonna hide twelve pieces of content per class, and those were gonna be your abilities. I thought they were gonna hide a bunch of content that had various rewards. You know, so maybe some of them would be abilities, but I, I imagine like something much different uh, than the season of discovery that we got. Like, I, granted, what I was imagining was something more robust, uh, with more like development time and developers probably than what they actually had. But yeah. <laughs> So for me, that that's kind of why, like, my initial dis disappointment about what the discoveries were and how they were found, like, that initial disappointment has kind of, like, colored my sod experience a little bit. How may I help? Farewell.
And, and like stuff like what we're doing now, like this would be fine as a multi-part quest chain. Like it, you know, once I find the thing, like just, just let me have it as a quest, like. So that I can kind of track it as a quest a little bit. Like, you know, you can hide some parts of it from me and then make me get to a certain point, but. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of it is just kind of like, a lot of it is travel, obviously. A lot of it does really seem like it's simply a, a time sink. Because some of it is challenging content, like depending on what level you are, some of it's like, oh, go fight elites. So that's like some challenging content, but a lot of it is travel. Uh, even if it's between bits of challenging content. And it, it does seem like less, less of discovering and less of exploring and more of just a time sink. Where, you know, you're flying back and forth, or you're running back and forth, you're catching boats, like... I get what they're going for, like, it, it's supposed to be like, oh, the sense of adventure, you're, you're traveling the entire world to piece together this mystery, like... On paper, it sounds, like, really freaking good. But the, the, like, the experience of the average person who's not super smart, like, who doesn't want to, like, super read into things, like, who's not gonna comb over every single inch of every single bit of every single zone, like, for that person, for just an average person playing the game, it's not very good in experience. It sounds really good on paper. Yeah, I think a lot of people, especially for, like, the travel bits notwithstanding, I think a lot of people would like to be able to do them all solo, yeah. Like, so solo players, surprisingly, uh, would like to be able to do them all solo, but, you know, you can't. A lot of them, if you're doing them at level, then a lot of times you can't. You have to have a group. And because they're kind of class specific, it limits your possibilities for a group. Like, if you're doing a pally rune, maybe it shares with a priest, maybe it doesn't. But either way, like, the, the group of people that you have access to recruit is narrower than, say, like, putting together a five-man or doing an elite quest. Because you're only looking for certain classes that actually share that content. That's kind of the other problem. The sleeping bag was very much the same exact formula. The sleeping bag, like, some of the hints in the sleeping bag quest, like, I think you could have figured out. I don't really know how I would have, my mind would have went from, like, Eastern Kingdoms to thinking that I should visit a burned out tower in the Barrens. Like, I don't think my mind would have went there. Uh, so the, the, the sleeping bag quest was, like, it was cool, especially in the sense that it was optional. Now the jumping puzzle they put in at the end, that was freaking unnecessary and that was that was cruel of them. Uh, but like the traveling bits were okay. The best part about it was it wasn't for character power. I, ha I had a, like surprisingly I had a better time uh, doing that quest than doing any of the runes because like when you go after a rune it's a must have. You must have it for your build, you're doing a build, you need that rune. The sleeping bag was completely optional. And the 3% experience was like yeah, it doesn't matter like it's 3%. It's it's hardly anything. So that was cool in the sense that you didn't have, feel like you had to do it. And if, if more if more discoveries were like that, where it's like you can get something extra, you can get something cool, but it's not locking you out of an ability to not do it, then maybe like discoveries would be more interesting. And maybe people would put more effort into finding them on their own, or maybe even following the guide would not be as annoying if it weren't locking something that you had to have, like you have to do this. It's mandatory content now. It's not a discovery, it's mandatory content. Whereas to me, like, a discovery is, like, optional content that you find. So, yeah, we'll see. You know, if they ever do another season, I doubt it'll be even similar to this one. So we'll, we'll probably never have to worry about it again after the season ends. That That's kind of the saving grace of a season. Like, okay, so I don't like rune acquisition. Well, you know, in the next season, we won't be doing it that way. Like... There will be something, we'll, maybe we'll just learn abilities at the trainer. Maybe we'll just get some talent changes. Maybe we'll get a new class. Like, next season, it'll be different. And that's that's kind of a refreshing thought. It's nice to know that I, I'm not going to have to live with it forever. Even if it is for, like, you know, another half year or so. Yeah, I, I think I think reputation vendors would be nice. I think just having them at the, at the trainer would be good. Like, or, or you unlock them with a scroll at the rep vendor, but then you go to your trainer to train them. And that way you can unlock them all and train them at your leisure. 
Yeah, like, like I think I think just doing something else with it w would be nice. And maybe they'll maybe that'll be quality of life they add. You know, once the level sixty band is open, who knows? All right, so we need to show him this. I'm assuming he's gonna have a bit of like optional dialogue. Lightly with you. Um, I am not sure. Maybe this. Honor, so now it's turning into a quest, which is good. Uh, did you find something in the tower? Yes. Light bless you. You were right to bring this to me. How would I have known? Be careful. Okay. And then uh, the next one. For the alliance. No, wait, wait, wait. Go with honor, friend. Um, now I don't know which one I should take. Is it ad advice from Stormwind? Yeah, okay. I sense a dark power within this orb, but its source eludes me. We need advice from the paladins of Stormwind. Bring the orb to them. Light bless So now we're going to Stormwind. For the alliance. Okay. <laughs> Great. Great, great, great. Alex, good afternoon, man. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate it. Uh, you're, you're, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Retracted. Ba boom. Artifact power is next. Oh, God. Don't say artifact power in the stream. Having the Azeroth Commerce Authority have a tabard, yes. Yep, if I, you know, while doing, especially once you're like level capped, it, like when you're doing five mans, like for me, like it sucks doing five mans at level cap, at a fake level cap and not getting XP. But if I were getting rep, if I were getting rep instead, if I was able to watch a bar fill from left to right as I did dungeons, I would grind more dungeons at max level. Like most definitely, you'd have me on like every day grinding dungeons. I would much rather grind dungeons than go hunt down waylaid supplies uh, or go PvP for that matter. So why don't you give me a PvP faction tabard while you're at it? That gives me two factions that I can grind up while just grinding five mans all day long. And maybe I get some loot. Maybe I get some pre-raid bis. Um, but yeah, uh, that'd be it. That's all I need. I need. I need a tabard. I need a bar to move from left to right. And I will do as many max level dungeon runs as you can imagine. Because I love doing five mans. And I love just sitting and farming five mans. Especially when there's like three or four to kind of like rotate. But you know, like what do I know about game development? We're probably not going to get a tabard. But I do think it would promote a lot of like a lot more five man engagement at max level, at, at level cap. And I think Blizz should definitely consider it. And since we know Blizzard watches this stream religiously, we can count on them hearing this. Obviously. So what do we think here? I, I think Flight Point to Ratchet, Booty Bay to Stormwind. That's that's what I think for the for the quickest route here. The alternative is, you know, Aberdeen to Menethil Harbor to Iron Forge to the tram. Like, no, let's let. Oh shit! It's the fi it's a 15 minute. Because look look at we gotta go out of the way. Oh my god, <laughs> guys! No matter how we do this, it's gonna take forever to get where we're going. But Jesus, at least this way I can I can pretend like I'm playing the game a little bit. I put the Hearthstone in Astronar? Shit, I already left. Here, I'll put the Hearthstone in Aberdeen, okay? It's it's not it's not as close as we could get, but yeah, I see. we're gonna have to come back to you to this guy. Is that what you're saying, Alex? Let me look a little bit ahead. Uh, speak with uh, Catherine the Pure. Begin her next quest, a second option. Catherine the Pure sends you to speak with a hidden sect of warlocks within the city. Okay, you're going to begin the Earning Your Salt quest. Head to Red Ridge. Kill Blackrock Orcs, Summoners, Champions until you obtain 14 Summoner Salt. Return to Ursula Deline, uh, the Warlock Lady, and begin It Must Be Destroyed. Travel back to Ashenvale. Okay. So yeah, I should set my hearthstone here. The rest of it is really close travel in the Eastern Kingdoms. Thank you. Oh, 
And Alex, you might not have been here for it. We're we're going we're going full DPS now. We're, go, we're going we're going full full DPS max damage. In fact, that's the new name of the channel, Max Damage. And that's what we're doing now. We have what they call an epiphany. Is that what they call it? When you realize something? What happened to tanking? No, there are no tanks. We've learned that in Season of Discovery, tanks are not necessary. Tanks are not required. Tanks are not respected. Tanks are not anything. They're just a dude who's not doing big damage, who is not holding threat. <laughs> and um, instead, we could be the dude dealing all the damage. We could have all the aggro. And then the, the run still goes fine. In fact, it goes even better. And so it's like, you're either going to be the guy struggling to get threat, like as a tank, and just like, oh, I can't get threat, I can't keep threat, I can't hold threat. Oh, oh. Or you're going to be the guy just dealing damage. And you're going to have all the threat, but it's going to be okay. Because in Season of Discovery, like, tanks don't really matter too much. They don't, they don't, they're really, in, I, like, you, you, a, a great DPS, like, someone who can just crank numbers is much more valuable to a five-man than a tank. Like, it's just not necessary. In, in, in raids it will be, like, obviously, like, in raids it'll be necessary. But we got a lot of five-mans to go. And, uh, and yeah, I'm not, I'm done, I'm out, I'm out of the tanking business. I'm hanging up my shield. It's not, uh, it's not the tanking that I want, and it's, it's not the tanking that I deserve. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Mellow fellow, if, you, if you're on, uh, if, yeah, if you're on Wild Growth, man, just whisper somebody in the guild, you can get an invite. I don't know that many people are on. We got a few people on. Uh, slash who rambling ramblers, and, and whisper somebody of the three of us who are on. Um, a lot of guys are still playing over back on Lone Wolf, so, you know. Obviously when I come, when I came here, I, I split the guild. So the guild here is small, uh, but mighty. So yeah, we, we don't have any specific requirements except that you be a decent human being. And that's about it. I forgot to set the Hearthstone. Shit. I'm just like, I'm not with it today. We'll just do it the long way. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to make everything as long as possible today. That's my, that's my goal. I, I'm set the South Shore. That's like, that's more than less than unhelpful. Yeah, it's, it's really unhelpful. I, I should just, I should just go set it and catch the next boat. Longer is better. Yeah. Yep. I guess so. Let's take the maximum amount of time to get this rune. It's I anticipate that like by four o'clock, by four o'clock we might we might have this rune by then. We might be close. That's my estimate. And then to actually get to play the character, like it, then to actually be able to play as DPS, like I probably won't be able to do that till tonight. I probably won't be able to. I won't. I'll get to press my my divine storm. I, I want to press my divine storm button once at least before the stream ends today. That, that's the goal. We'll see if we can make that happen. Probably not. Alex, you've been healing on your paladin. Damn. Do you get those holy shock runes? Are you a shockadin? When you're running around the world, do you shock things? Because the shockadin builds seem cool. I, I like I like taking those those holy shock runes and like turning them into DPS. It seems like you could be holy and like run around the world and do stuff still. Uh, let's see. So that's set. Let's go catch the next boat. Carrying around two gear sets is probably a lot of fun. Yeah, there, there are guides for them on Wowhead, Alex. I was looking at a couple of them 
uh, a little bit ago. Yeah, there, there's uh, there's there's steps up, at least for the ones that I looked at. So yeah, you might want to take a look. They all seem they all seem pretty complicated, like similar to what we're doing right now. Like the the ones that I looked at were very similar to this, and a lot of them require you to go to like Desolus. That one was in Deadwind Pass. So obviously they, they expect you to do most of these at level 40, obviously. And there's there seems to be quite a bit of like potential running around. At, at least in all the ones that I looked at. Yeah, we're set. Hearthstone's set. We're good now. Return to Aberdeen. Now we wait for the next boat. Well, at least you're soaking up that rested XP. So that's the good thing. Well, that wasn't too long of a wait. That was a lot faster than I expected. All right. Only 20 more minutes till Stormwind. I think we need we need classic era Stormwind Harbor. Right? Like if we if we had classic era Stormwind Harbor <laughs> then a lot of problems would be solved. This guy thinks it's hilarious. He's on board. He's so happy about the idea he's dancing. Yeah, like if they if they put in Stormwind Harbor, then you know we could just be taking a boat directly to Stormwind. And that's it. And then you have boats to Stormwind, and it's really easy. It's easy to get around after that. Life without a boat to Stormwind, it, it can get pretty tough. Especially with all the travel that you're kind of expected to do. He was a hacker, I think. I think he was a hacker. Warlocks are now charging up two gold. Two gold is the standard now for a warlock summon. It was one gold like a week or a week or two ago. And now it's two gold. The warlocks, man, they're just making bank. All they do all day long is make money. Could you imagine making two gold like maybe you, you might be able to make like two gold like maybe even twice a minute. If you're just like spamming out summons. Incredible. Just incredible. Yeah, the only way to make money is to be a warlock. It's You don't have to put any effort. And listen, you can go farm for hours and hours and hours. And then you can put shit up on the auction house and price it out and look at the competition's prices. Or you could not do any of that stuff. Don't have any professions. Be a warlock. Stand in a city. Stand somewhere people want to be. Where, where are people going today? Where do they want to go? Okay, and, the, and then sell summons to it. And that's and that's all you should do. Let's just do that. And then that character, you do that for a couple hours a day and think of it like a job. You know, you're going to get on today and you're going to make your gold. 
do it for a couple hours, you make like 20, 30, 40 gold, send it over to your main. What can I do for you? Go buy yourself this, and then you win. Uh, let's go to, I, I think like, well, it's only four, let's Have just do the one. flight. Listen, it's only four minutes. This has to be faster than going to Iron Forge, running to the tram, waiting for the tram, getting on the tram. The tram itself is like a minute and 50 seconds. This has to be faster. Yeah, and while this happens, I'm gonna go bio. I'll be right back. What's my slash plate? I have no idea. That's a good question. Uh, total time played... 2 days, 4 hours, 7 minutes, and 10 seconds. So... I don't know, I can't math. 53 40? I... no. Something like that. 53? 52? A lot more than you would think for only being level 33, I guess. Oh, I'm sure mages are probably selling portals too. Yeah, I haven't seen as much of that. But I guess that's probably happening also. I think that warlocks should form groups, and they, they should group up with each other, and then they should they should split the profits evenly. Just a three, and then char charge three gold. Make it easy. Groups of three, like three warlocks grouped up. Y'all bring y'all bring shards. You got your bags full. Full bags, full soul shard bags, all all four of them. And then you stand somewhere, and then you sell you sell summons for three gold. You split it one gold each a summon, and you just do that all day. You could you could probably multi box. Yeah, you you could probably multi yourself. You could probably multi box three warlocks and do that and just cut the other humans out of the equation entirely and then you yourself are making three gold <laughs> yeah full bags all shards yeah it sounds like a job it is a job yeah no exactly it's the job of a working class warlock like you want to be a hard worker and make gold be a warlock hey listen it's also work to go farm iron and put it on the auction house or go farm skins and put it but people do that and they call it gameplay you know what i mean if, if running around and collecting ore and putting it on the auction house is gameplay, 
than than mul than multi boxing my three warlocks and selling summons to the hot place to be today is also is also gameplay. It, and it would probably be less tedious than running in circles farming ores. Okay, I'm in Stormwind. I should think about why I'm here and who I need to talk to. Uh, Catherine the Pure. I'm assuming she's going to be in the, the Cathedral of Light. So let's head that way. Catherine the Pure, and then we'll have a quest. <laughs> but multi-boxing is against Terms of Service. Okay, okay, so we're grouped up with the two other warlocks then. I think a cer I think a certain what if what if I'm multiboxing in the sense that I have three computers like I'm not using software, okay I have three computers, I have I have the keyboards like boom arrayed in front of me, and I am literally multiboxing, not through some illicit software, or method, but by actually having three computers going around me simultaneously I think that would be okay. You know if I were doing it the old-fashioned way. like three accounts that I pay for, you know what I mean? I'm paying for three accounts. You don't want my money for my three accounts for my warlocks? All right, um, let's see. I don't know who we're looking for or if I'm even on the right track. I have a quest back here though. It's not worth it. It depends on how much gold is worth it to you. I guess at that point you could just go buy gold illegally. You need something? Safe travels. Go with all uh, a second friend. opinion. Be careful. I'm not sure what to make of this orb. I think we will need the help of a specialist. We are aware of a warlock sect operating out of Stormwind City. Officially, we reject the presence of warlocks in the city. Unofficially, their knowledge can be of use when dealing with demonic forces. Find a representative of these warlocks and seek their opinion on the orb. Light bless you. Oh my god, the Stormwind music. So we're going to the Slaughtered Lamb Inn. Now all, all roads lead back to the WoW token. Um, okay, so we gotta go to the Slaughtered Lamb Inn. So the silver hand requires my aid. It will not come cheaply. Oh great, now we do quest for her. Be careful. Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I will study the orb and tell you what I learned, but you must first do something for me. The warlocks of the Blackrock clan use specially prepared salts to enhance their summoning rituals. Collect some of the orcs in some from the orcs in Red Ridge. Robert speaks take 2. When you return, I will share with you the results of my studies. 14 Summoner Cell. These are from the Elites. Farewell. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
soon we will be able to press our buttons again. While I'm here, I should do two things. I should check. I should pull the blue two-hander out of the out of the bank, but I should also check the auction house because I'm pretty sure that two-hander dropped in dead mines. So I'm pretty sure it's trash garbage by now. So maybe with that in mind, maybe we just check the auction house and see if there are any affordable two-handers. Uh, the other issue, eventually, we'll have to deal with the fact that we don't have weapon skill. That that's uh, that's an issue. We, I mean, we have the weapon skills, but we don't have we don't have any skill in them. That's the other like issue that we'll have to deal with, eventually. But yeah, let, let's just take a peek at the auction house, and then we can cry together. I'm sure prices are are probably pretty inflated. Well, I mean, I mean that's not bad. Um, we we are not level thirty five yet, but that's not that's not terrible. We would have to have something like between the, that plus sixty six attack power. Ooh, when fighting undead, mm, maybe it's not awesome. But uh, the burning war axe that's only level twenty four though, or no, that's twenty eight. I'd like something to be like at least in level 30s potentially. The blood spiller level 27 for less than a gold. I mean, would that still be decent at level 33? Because that's really cheap. Hmm. Let's check maces. Uh, level 30, that's way too much. Nope, nope. The Cobalt Crusher, 4 gold is not awful. And that's level 29. And then two-handed swords are, of course, the most expensive. 50 gold for the Bone Slasher. Can't afford that. This is a weird two-handed defense weapon. That's that's ten gold. So I think I think our options are either we we could go with like we can go with the cobalt crusher, most likely. Chance on hit, blast the target for frost damage. Like that seems cool. I I think I'm gonna go with this for now. It's a level 29 blue, which should be okay for a level 33 character. Yeah, this is fine. I'm okay with that. Alright, off to Red Ridge we go. Yeah, maybe I should look at getting the other one for later, like buying it sooner than later, because it was really cheap. We'll see. I mean, we, we might be able to get something out of Armory. So, like, we could, we could probably get away with taking this into Armory. Like, maybe, if we do armory at, like, level 36. And then maybe we can get something out of armory instead of spending more money. Potentially. YouTube says we had a lag spike. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lag spike. YouTube knew what it was talking about. It looks like it's going to level out, though. 
Yeah, we're back to normal. Okay. Uh, Red Ridge. Sorry, yeah, there's a little bit of lag there. But maybe we're, maybe we're still a little laggy. We'll let this lag go while we're in flight. And maybe YouTube will uh, cool its jets. Okay, we're green. We're green for now. Let's just chill. Nobody move. There's lags. Lag spikes coming in. Nobody move. Didn't I get Varigan's Fist? I didn't finish... No, I didn't finish the Pally Quest. I got close to finishing it. At the time, I didn't think I was ever going to use a two-hander. And I also... I had a two-hander from... Um, from Dead Mines as well. That I never used. But no, I never got the Pally Weapon. I, I don't even... How, how would it... It would probably be better than this, but... I, I'm okay with this. Yeah. I got close to finishing it. Now, eventually, eventually, I will go back to Duskwood, and we will we'll get the ex the exorcism rune, which you know could be just a, another button to push. Might be nice. Now, can I get this item from the from the non-elites? It, it looks like it. We, e either way, we should we shouldn't have a problem with anything in the area. All right, let, let's go up there then. We'll go up here. We'll fight the champions In, instead of going over to Stonewatch Keep. Yeah, if we can do that, let's do it that way. It'll at least make it go a lot faster. I I might <laughs> I might be able to level up my uh, my two-handed mace on these guys if I'm if I'm hitting them with like judgments and like other stuff to deal damage. I should be able to work on leveling up the mace, uh, which would be nice. And then speaking of which, I need to replace. I'm gonna, well, yeah, if we're not fighting elites yet, then it doesn't matter. Let me replace this. If I don't have a shield equipped, I don't need that on. You think I want the weapon skills? Oh, we'll get them. How about we get some on the way? We'll get some on the way. It's gonna be slow going. A lot of the damage we deal, I feel like, is holy damage. We're at 43, so we're not we're not starting at zero with maces. It, it could be worse. In my mining, I haven't been because my my fine minerals is off. Okay, it's being it's being buggy again. Okay, there we go. I haven't been mining a lot. Um, I, I can't get skill ups from copper anymore. Uh, I think I need tin and silver, and I, I have to get to 150 before I can get before I can get iron. Or is it 125? There's gonna be lots of tin in the cave. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll mine the tin. If there's tin or silver, I'll, I'll mine it. But I I haven't been mining copper at all, no.
Will I switch to Ret Aura or stick with Devotion? Um, I'm not sure. I, we, well, it'll depend on whether or not we spec into Ret Aura. So, yeah, like, I guess... Mm, if we're gonna if we're gonna use seal of command then yeah I would probably spec into red aura hmm I don't know actually yeah yeah I'm gonna stick with devotion for now right 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 I said if, if we spec into it then yes which we might I don't know Yeah, I did. I got the. They dropped off the Houndmaster, actually. Somebody told me they dropped off the last boss in Graveyard. So I, I killed the last boss in Graveyard, and I was like, uh, what? And then they just dropped off the Houndmaster. So yeah, it, it's it's good. I, I think in, in, a, in a five man, I still forget to buff people, but you know, at least they, they start with a 10 minute buff and they have it for 10 minutes. It's better than only having it for nine minutes or five minutes. For some reason, I originally thought they were going to be 30 minute buffs. And then, you know, then I found out they were just 10 minutes, which, you know, is better. It's better than 5, but I'm hoping at some point in the season we'll see like 30 minute buffs at least. Oh, Alex, you didn't get it to drop. I thought it was a guaranteed drop. I was under the impression that it dropped no matter what. But that's not true. I didn't know that. Oh crap. Is it kind of like a rare drop? Why would they make it a rare drop? It's kind of like an integral thing to have. That's that's why it's, it's quality of life because it's an integral. Like quality of life is an integral thing to have. I didn't realize it was going to be a chance to drop. Maybe it can also drop off the last boss in graveyard then. And I just didn't and I just didn't get it to drop when I when I killed it. It drops from all the SM bosses. It's a chance to drop. Oh snap. See I had no idea. If one person told me it was just the last boss in graveyard, and then when it dropped off the Howlmaster, I was like, oh okay, well that's you know, easy to get bosses in Scarlet Monastery confused. Because I just thought it was a 100% chance to drop off of, like, a specific guy. That's terrible. I, I'm sorry <laughs> for any for any paladin that hasn't got them yet. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not 30 minutes, but it is a lot better than the 5. I wonder if I should swipe out Aegis for, I guess, is this even going to help me? That's the question. Uh, Seal of Martyrdom fills you with Holy Spirit for 30 seconds, causing each of your melee attacks to deal 40% weapon damage to your target, but you lose health. Oh no, this is probably not, this is not going to help me at all. I, I don't, I don't have any useful chest runes, so... Exorcism goes in that slot. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to Duskwood at some point and get that done. We will do that at some point. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't. The other one does something with my HP though. Like I don't want it doing anything with my HP. It says you lose health. I don't want to lose health when I'm not in a group. Uh, yeah, I just I don't want to mess with it. I'm not sure like how much HP I'm gonna lose, and I don't know if I want to find out. So I, I know like we have a useless rune, but I'm gonna leave it for now. And then hopefully like at, right after we get the uh, right after we get the rune, we'll go to Duskwood. And we'll learn we'll learn the exorcism. I have to I have to fear them and then I have to kill them with an exorcism. So it's it's a multi-step process, and I have to do that like ten times. The drop rate on the dust is apparently not like super awesome. Is it better on the elites or is the drop rate basically the same no matter what? Yeah, martyrdom is for tanking. That's ki that's kind of what I thought. Yeah. So and I, cause like, cause then if it's affecting your HP, you're not gonna notice because your healer's gonna heal you anyway. That's what I was saying. Like, I don't think I'd want to use that outside of a group. The drop rate's the same. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it's just really bad. We're we're at 119 weapon skill. So as we skill up, we'll be killing these guys a lot faster. Do I have long arm of the law? No, I don't think so. Oh, the summoners can drop it too. So everybody back here can drop it. It's it's not just the it's not just the champions, uh, the the warlocks too. That's, I should be mining also. Like mining would be good. There is there is some tin nearby. I miss loot. Not surprised. Did I? It must have been a while ago. Oh yeah, yeah. All the way back here. Nice, thank you. Yeah, that was a bit ago. And he had a green. Look at that. With 1% dodge. You, you hardly ever see... Like, that kind of stat. 1% to dodge. Very strange find. They did not intend to make this a short grind, did they? Like, they they definitely have this drop rate set to basically nothing. It's I'm hoping it's one of those drop rates where, like, a long time goes by and you don't get any, and then a bunch drop all at once. I'm hoping it, like, works out like that. That would be... that'd be nice. Mm, because, yeah. I think we have some competition here, like, people also killing these guys. We have one item right now. We need 14. See, this is what I mean when I say that I think a lot of rune acquisition 
is simply meant as a time sink. I, I think that's why there's all the travel, I think that's why there's the low drop rates. And it's like, you know, they would say, well that's classic gameplay, it's in the spirit of classic to waste your time, haha! <laughs> Which is not untrue. But, you know, it doesn't mean that I have to appreciate it. The drop rate can be okay, but come on, the drop rate doesn't have to be horrendously bad. Just make the drop rate, you know, kind of normally bad. This seems like especially bad. I don't think that's necessary. I think that's too much like blatantly just kind of trying to waste your time. Sometimes you get two salts from one mob. That's like, that's just salt in the wound. Like a slap in the face. Like, oh, you killed 30 mobs and got nothing. This guy has two. Okay, okay, I see how it is. They all have nothing. One guy has two. Why don't we spread them around a bit? I have done something bad. I think we're gonna get at least one more dude. Or, or maybe not, maybe he didn't pull these two. Now we, now we got him evade bugged. We, we've destroyed him. I didn't even realize he was gonna be able to swim. You know how like a lot of mobs will stand at the edge of the water? I didn't think he'd even be able to come in here. That's very strange. Yeah, I need to be doing more mining. I need to be, like, prioritizing mining. That's what I should be doing. I mean, to be fair, I'm also skilling up my two-handed mace. So we, we, got, we got a lot of things going on. Now we're looting a chest. Definitely gonna be a blue in here. A waylaid... A waylaid supply, and then it vanished. Did it... It didn't even give- it didn't give me the supply crate, guys. It showed the supply crate, and then it- it showed it in the window, and then it didn't let me loot it. And my inventory is not even full. I got lots of space. No- no waylaid supply for me. That was- that was super rude. <laughs> Scumbag chest shows you waylaid supply chest, doesn't let you loot it. Oh my gosh. I've never been trolled by a chest before. That was brutal. I'm like failing at finding any of the ore. Um, this one should be like right here. Maybe it's below us? Um, oh no, it's, it's, it's right there, Robert. Just slightly to your left. Just, just look slightly left at the screen. I found it. 
<laughs> it went through the twisting nether, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise known as my giant blind spot, where apparently I just don't look at that part of the screen at all. The hope here is that it like comes back, but as tin or silver. Because yeah, we're not getting any skill ups off the copper. Bummer. Are you guys enjoying the cave music? I did notice that this time around we had cave music, whereas typically when we're in a cave, we have no cave music. And this time it's rocking out. I've been in many caves that were just eerily silent. Where like, there was no sound, except like ambient noise. But this has a very specific music track. We need more enemies. I should, oh, here, oh, here we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, server. We need more enemies. Runs into respawns. Perfect, perfect. Yes, I would, yep, see, we need more enemies. Right. Ask for more enemies and you shall receive. Oh man, it's it's just a graveyard. Oh Jesus. Okay, yeah, we, we got lots of people here. Lots of people here and lots of uh, lots of dead orcs. Maybe ask for more loot. Okay, okay. Please, Jesus, give us more loot. We need more loot. We need more living mobs first, and then like that's the only way to get loot. There's tin back here somewhere. Now, now we got respawns coming in. Okay, so we, we have to like probably be a little bit more aggressive about like our pulling strategy. And at least pull like multiple guys because like pulling them one at a time, that's not gonna cut it here. And at least now we're hitting them semi-consistently. We're at 144 uh, out of like 170. Yeah, 144. Out of, so we're not we're not doing bad. But yeah, they literally they have to they have to drop the loot though. Like yeah, that's the big part is they have to actually some of them have to drop the loot. Here we go. We got some tin.
Uh, let's see, bruise weed. Yeah, we might be able to get some bruise weed. We, we might be able to afford that. We'll see. Well, there's some. We're at 7 out of 14. Hey, we're like, we're halfway done. It's actually not bad. I hope he didn't reset. He looks like he's running away. But I hope he doesn't reset. That would suck. Ooh, that guy had two. And another... Another... Oh yeah, we can carry multiple now. That's right, that's right. That's good. That's the one good change they made. We can carry multiple empty crates. Okay, they're dropping a lot of them now. The, the drop rate has been very kind. I'm, I'm very appreciative. Even with a 10 minute buff, I forget to keep it up. It's it's despicable. You farmed the ore in here for hours, Alex? Damn, dude. That's dedication. Yeah, I, that's what I need to do. If I wanna if I wanna get up to like the ability to mine iron, then yeah, like I'm gonna have to do it eventually. This the copper is not doing anything for me though. Uh, lag not on my end. Not that I noticed. I'm, I'm green right now and I looked right away. But YouTube might be having some issues, I don't know. Everything looks fine here. Yep, this time I'm green. Green with no dropped frames. So we will have to blame this one on YouTube. I jump right past the tin node? That makes sense. That sounds like something I would do. Absolutely. I, I jumped I jumped past the tin node to get down to a tin node. So how am I looking?
I could probably get back up there. If I were to actually try. Or, or not. Well, maybe. I'm missing loot. I know. I'm, it's, it's getting into the afternoon, so... The game, the gameplay from here on out is going to get even sloppier than it has been the rest of the day. Yep. Because I ate food, it's the afternoon. I probably need to refresh my coffee. And it's, pro it's probably going to get, get sloppier. See, I got I got the tin and I got the lost loot. We're we're good now. Now we're back on track. How nice would it be if one of the guys right here at the mouth of the cave dropped it for us? How nice would that be? It would be really nice. It is really nice. And I appreciate it. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we are going back to Stormwind next? Is that where we're headed? Stormwind? How's the weapon skill looking? Let's have a look. Mining's looking good. Mining is at 110 now. That's awesome. And then weapon skill, we are at 155 out of 170. So we are very nearly maxed out. So yeah, definitely we got a lot done there. You know, we got the quest done, sure, but we also leveled up mining, leveled up our two-handed. So yeah, time well spent. Lael, good afternoon, and happy birthday, man. You are older. Yes, that is how it works. And congratulations to you. That's awesome. Stormwind, then Ashenvale, Alex. To the demon area. Another nice drop quest. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So you're telling me that it might take me a little bit later than 4 o'clock to get this one done. That's what you're telling me. Understood. This is a lengthy one. It's probably gonna- I think it's gonna be the lengthiest one that we've done. The other one I saw requires you to- it's a phase 2 rune that requires you to kill like 7 different elites. And they're all over the entire world. And so that one might take as long, but that one seems like it's a little bit more straightforward. Like, you're just going to, to kill an elite. And you do that seven times in seven different spots. 
this is like relying on drop rates and stuff, which is a little bit more time consuming. You think I should get the exorcism done before Ashenvale? Okay. I don't I don't mind doing that. That's not a bad idea because we're so close. Yeah, cuz we're so close anyway. Okay. I will uh I will do it. We will do it that way. It's a good idea. Don't let it go to your head though. I usually I usually just shut down any and all suggestions uh even if they're completely reasonable. So like you know, this time's an exception. Don't let it go to your head. Ran past the flight point. Sweetie Bird, good afternoon. Thanks for stopping by. This is not the Pally Mace. This is a look-alike. It's, it's a look-alike imposter. For the Alliance. Well met. This is uh, this is Cobalt Crusher, which has a chance to do like a ice magic proc. Have a good one. But it looks similar to the Pally Mace. Mm-hmm. This this character is going full DPS as of today. As of us doing this very quest line to get Divine Storm, we are going full, all out DPS. We're hanging up our shield. We're retiring as a tank, and we, we're going to join the ranks of just like absolute bonkers DPS. We're going to pad the meters. We're gonna do lots of awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna tank five enemies, even though we are not the tank. We're gonna do lots of cool things. It's gonna be a good time. All right, closest place to do this is gonna be down in the Tranquil Garden Cemetery area. So let's head that way. Sounds like most DPS. Yeah, exactly. We are going to become the DPS person. Yeah, the generic DPS person. And that's what we're doing on this character. We are also going to make sure, like, because we know the tank has a hard job, we are going to make sure that often we pull for him. We're going to make sure that we're there for him in that capacity. That we will pull for him while he sits and drinks. You know, he has to sit there and drink. That's time consuming. So we will save him some time and we will pull for him. And uh, yeah, we're going to be a, a really great DPS. Oh, we didn't kill him with it. I, I, can't, I can't time it right. If I let him slap me. Until this is off cooldown, it'll be fine. As long as no do-gooder comes by and tries to help me. We, we don't need anybody else hitting these guys. There we, oh, there we go. Okay, yep, one stack. I have to do this how many more times? I have to do this... Five more times? Okay. I feel like that was changed. I feel like it was 12 the other day. I feel like when I when I went to do this originally, it was more than five. And that was part of the reason why I didn't do it. But maybe not. Uh, of course, there are no, there are no enemies here, who are still standing. Here we go, this guy. Okay, so I, I have to fear him. He did he interrupt me? I think he interrupted me. Fear him, and now I have to kill him very carefully. Okay, 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 great, great. I, you can stop anytime. Any, any time is fine. Okay. Very carefully. I have to get him down. Right there. Okay, two. See how it's like on these low level guys, maybe not the best. Maybe not the best. Was it always five? Maybe not the best option on these lower level guys. They're really like squishy. Oh, okay. I have to fear him before I kill him here. 
Okay. So he's been feared. I wonder if I have to let the fear, like, run out. Oh, I didn't get- you see how, like, I didn't get him. I got him with the auto attack after the exorcism. This is- this is such a huge pain in the butt. I- I'd like, this- is this fun? Like, you guys tell me the truth. Is this- is this fun to do? Is it fun gameplay? Is it- I'm just like- I'm just like the sour person who- who doesn't understand why it's fun gameplay? That's okay if that's what's going on. No, they don't have to have XP apparently, Alex. I, I guess I didn't even think about that aspect of it. Maybe that's something that got changed. It's fun? Okay, cool, it's fun. I don't have fun with it. I guess I'm just not like a fun person. <laughs> like I this is this is this is not fun to me. Like it's it's not it's super painful, like it's not bad. Five is better I thought it was twelve. So five is better than twelve, that's great, but I, I, I could skip it, and I don't think that'd be harmful. I wouldn't feel like I was missing out on anything if I didn't have to do this. And see, my auto attack crit him for 331. I, I might have to go fight higher level guys. This, this might not... This might not work out on lower level guys. I don't have enough, like, leeway to time it. Like, if I, if I auto attack this one more time, I might crit it and kill it. Okay, I got that one. One more. Yeah, oh, I could put the one-hander on. That's a good point, yeah. Uh, there's smart things I could do. But I'm not, I'm not that smart, so... I, sometimes I don't think about them. I have to, like, hold off on killing them here. We have to wait for this to come off cooldown. Invalid target. You have to target something. I think we got it. We did it. We've accomplished it at long last. So we got Exorcist. Exorcism can now be cast on any target and has a 100% increased crit strike chance against the undead and demons. Alright, very cool. Boop. Nice. Uh, and then I could probably put that somewhere where I can use it a little bit more often. Uh, the cooldown is 15 seconds. Okay. That will work. All right, so that is done, and now I am headed to Stormwind. We are gonna pick up uh, on our Crusader Strike slash Divine Storm journey, our epic journey to acquire possibly the best rune in the game. Maybe it has to be a group mate. I thought you can sleep in anybody's bed. But maybe it's only if a group mate lays it down. We slept in a group mate's one earlier today. It has to be group. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's better than just anybody out in the wild, I guess. Although I was okay with that. It would have been fine. Uh, Stormwind. See you around. And then I'm going to the Slaughtered Lamb Inn. Is that where I'm going now? Yeah, back to Ursula. 
Uh, and then back, after talking to her, then back to Ashenvale, to the Demon Canyon. Okay. We're, we're closing in on, like, the final act. We're about to begin the final act of getting this rune. It's been a three-act story similar to the World Soul Saga itself, actually. It's, it's been a, a story told in three parts. Wait, 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 wait. Has to be a group. What, what is that referring to? Am I going to need a group for any part of this? Am I going to be able to completely finish this solo? Oh, the ha yeah, the sleeping bag. Sorry, I was just thinking about like the quest requirements. <laughs> my, my, I had a brain fart. Yeah, I was thinking about the quest requirements. Somebody said earlier that I couldn't do it solo. So then I saw that and I was like, oh wait, can I can I do this? Can I do all of the rest of this solo? Because I remember now somebody told me earlier that I couldn't. I could do it. Okay, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Somebody said I couldn't do it. And so I, I thought maybe, if anything, the guy in uh, the demons in Ashenvale maybe would be something I needed a group for. But no, I can I can do this on my own. We can finish it up. I, I'll never need to group with another human. I put it off long enough that other people became irrelevant. Good. Perfect. Yeah, so a few more steps. And after this, it seems like the rest of it takes place over in Ashenvale. So it shouldn't be too much more. Hey there. Be careful. Safe travels. Be careful. Farewell. This orb is indeed connected to a powerful entity somewhere beyond the Twisting Nether. I cannot divine its nature, but I feel its perception reaching through the orb, studying me in return. I'm reluctant to admit this, but the orb must be destroyed. It seems impervious to most damage, but it may be vulnerable to the weapon of a powerful demon lord. I am unsure where you will find such a weapon, but it remains your best option. Have well, a good we one. have to go fight demons. And that would be our hint. Our hint would be, okay, a powerful demon lord... And I probably still wouldn't be able to figure it out if I didn't have uh, a guide. So now, now we're good to hearth, right? We have to go fight the demon lord and uh, obtain some kind of weapon. Let's let's go back to Aberdeen. Mm, then again, then again. I could also I could also maybe train level 32 while I'm here. That would probably be a decent idea. It's uh you know blessing of might rank four is pretty big. That's really the only one that would make a big difference. But yeah, let's go let's go do that. Anything else that we can think that we need to do while we're here in Stormwind? I I can't think of anything else. Uh, what about professions? We 
we don't need to train either profession yet. Yeah, we're, we're good on professions. We're not quite ready to train the next rank of mining yet. Are we, are we capped at 225 for level 40, or can we go further than that? I actually don't know. Where, where are we at capped for professions at 40? I guess 225 would make sense. Two twenty-five is max. Okay, cool. That that's nice. Yeah, that's it, that's far off for us on mining, but not not unobtainable. Yep, primordial. That's where we're heading next. Yeah, we're we're bound we're bound over at Aberdeen, so we're gonna hearth back and then fly. Well met. Down to Astronar. Uh, I'm just gonna learn everything, I guess. Just get everything out of the out of the book. Um. Yeah, blessing of might. I, I don't even have first aid on this character, and I haven't I haven't been keeping up on my on my cooking, but I need to. Cooking it's 105, you know it's it's not nothing, but it's not great either. Uh, let's vendor some stuff while we have the opportunity to do so. Yeah, I'm I'm selling this stuff like I'm done. I'm done. I'm not even like moderately done tanking. I am done tanking, so I'm selling that stuff. It's gone. We don't have it anymore. Um, any of these I'm not going to be able to fill. I think I could probably fill both of those if I'm willing to spend a little bit of money. Uh, the Dodge Ring probably isn't going to sell for much. Okay. Let's try to leave it like that for Go now. Peace. And then we need to jump on a flight down to Astronar. Goddess, watch over you. And I will be right back.
my wife got me one of those like coffee dispensers that you like fill it with coffee and then somebody mentioned this on the stream the other day and then, then you pump it and then the coffee it's kept like basically warm inside the canister you just pump it some more of it out you know like what you yeah like what you find in like a hotel lobby and that's like sitting next to me and so it's made it really convenient to be able to like reach over and just like refresh my coffee a little bit you know it might result in, in drinking too much coffee but it's super convenient it's like living in a coffee shop yeah exactly right right i need to get a couple more like a couple different flavors of coffee i need i need light medium and dark roast available at all times yeah so yeah that's that's pretty nice Uh, was it fairly priced? Yeah, I, I think so. She didn't. She doesn't tell me, which is fine. <laughs> I didn't ask. I'm sure if I asked, she'd tell me. I could just look in the in the Amazon orders, but I'm not sure. I'm assuming it was it was. You know. I'm assuming it was a decent price. Okay, I am going down into this area, all the way over there. It would be really cool if I had a uh, an Ashenvale mount, but I do not. I do not have an Ashenvale mount. So yeah. We're, we're making the run. And then I feel like we could probably, like... We could probably get the Hippogriff and like get the, the Flight Master over here. We could probably fly back. I, I think we'll be closer to that flight point. I, I'm almost a barista. I have the prerequisite beard and a beanie. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, by, by now, you know, I, I've been out of a corporate job for so long that at this point, barista is probably all I'm really qualified to do. What can you do? Uh, I can talk. Uh, okay, what else? My body works. Uh, okay, uh, any other skills? Not any that I've used in the past, like, five years. <laughs> so, yeah, at this point, I'm basically qualified to uh, be a barista. Uh -huh. Or, like, a bar back or something. Yeah, I'm good at pressing buttons. Really important when you're working the espresso machine, right? That <laughs> these are the skills that I've practiced recently. The mace looks cool. It does look cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. It's all shiny. It has that reflective coating. I like it. Lail right on that, I'll let you know. Yeah. We uh, The coffee that went in there was made in a French press. So it was originally French press coffee that went into the thing. So yeah, it still tastes pretty good. I realize now though, like, I need to have, like, some creamer down here. I don't have any creamer. And I guess maybe at this point I need a mini fridge. I'd, I'd rather use milk, so maybe now I need a little mini fridge. And that way I can keep my milk or creamer in there. And that way the, the coffee, you know, can just be balanced at all times. Could I imagine doing this on a PvP server? Absolutely not. You, you'd you'd want to do it in a group of pallies, you know, and even then you'd probably like be sidetracked by PvP quite often. Yeah, I, I let, that's the problem. Like, I, I probably would not be doing this at all if I were on a PvP server still. That's the honest truth of it. Is that I don't think I would do it. Cause yeah, you got to imagine I, I probably would have gotten killed a ton of times already.
Now, now somewhere in here, like there might be a, a horde encampment or base that I have to avoid. I'm not sure. Fitness Freak, good afternoon. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. If I stay on this road, am I going to, like, totally avoid the horde bases? I know that they're, like, they're somewhere. There's a, there's a logging camp. There's the actual town itself. And I'm wondering if I'm going to run, like, right into one or the other. Or if this, or if this gets me right where I need to be. It's looking good. Yeah, I mean, this this road supposedly goes all the way to Ajara. Yeah, there's Splinter Tree Post, but then there's also like a Lumber Camp. I don't know if those are PvP. Oh wait, see, look. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we got a little group of people over here that are like really deadly. And then I got, I got over on my left, we have the town. Okay, so we might be okay though. Yeah, this road seems fine. Oh shit. Oh good, that's a player. <laughs> I thought that was a guard. Okay, oh god, yeah, we are a little close. Level 40, okay, so... We're good. And then, and then I think we come this way? I'm kind of, I'm trying to remember, I think, I think we gotta get back here, basically. It's been a while since I've done these quests. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the Azure flight point. I think we're gonna take the flight point out of here when we're done. That's probably how we're gonna get out, because otherwise it's another long run. I think I think running up to the flight point and flying back is the best bet. It's in the south, yeah, right down here. Okay, so I sh I should be able to keep on the trail then. Yeah, how is Questy not marking it? I, I don't know. I, I'm hoping um, that we're, we're on the right track here. Yeah, it says the weapon of a powerful demon lord. Yeah, <laughs> like it seems like we're on the right quest, but yeah, it's not marking anything. Maybe they didn't get all of them in, I don't know. It, that's not like Questy to leave something out. Billy, good afternoon, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you're playing WoW again. It's a great time to play WoW. That's nice to hear. Alright, so... I, I don't need these guys, right? I need to work my way into the back. What mobs exactly am I going after? Oh, it drops from all demons. Even these guys? Outside here? Yeah, it's not... Ooh, shit. Well, it's not marking anything. That was a nice crit on the exorcism. Nice call of hitting that one. Oh. 
Oh, nice. Okay. So we can we can fight anything. Do I eventually have to fight my way back here though, right? Like I have to clear into this place eventually. Twelve moats. Okay. All right. Right now we have two. It won't let me put it on the bar, unfortunately, to like track it. At least, I thought there were demons. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I thought there were demons all along this path. The person straight up ruined my thumbnail shot. Just obliterated it. Uh, so they might have just cleared through here. That's what it seems like. Yeah, there's nothing alive back here. Let's go check up top. Billy, thank you so much for the $10, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Oh, uh, we have a convoy. A scary looking convoy. Oh god, am I gonna regret this? I might, I might regret this. No, we, we might be okay. They do die easily. You're right. Hmm. What's going on with my... Oh, this... It put this on the bar, but it's a passive. Like, I'm pressing this button. You know, like, the Holy Wrath ability? It looks like Holy Wrath. Here I am, pressing it. Yeah. There we go. So I can move that over. Uh, we've got 4 out of 12. So yeah, another another slow drop rate. Oh yeah, yeah. You mentioned it, you said number four, and I looked at four, and four was fine, and I was like, oh, that looks fine. You meant the one next to four, which is my F one key. Yeah. Fitness freak, we're not tanking anymore. We we are going we are going after our DPS runes because we we are gonna we are gonna do some DPS. We have, uh, we've hung up our shield. Yeah. We're gonna be happier as DPS. And probably more useful to groups. Oh, I can't get iron yet. What do I need to be for iron? Is it 150? Or is it 125? It's 125. Okay, that's not awful. Uh, willing to buy more demons. Yeah, I, I need more demons. Like, per square inch. I obviously would have been best to, like, fight all the ones outside. This is where I'm coming once I have all the items, right? This, These two swords here. It seems like the right place. Is Red doing well in the charts? Uh, I feel like they're doing fine. I haven't looked. People told me they were they were doing really well. But yeah, it, it's going to be our best option at this point. The cool thing is, 
since these guys are still green, we are getting kill XP. So that's nice. I, I like I like doing stuff when I'm getting kill XP. And then the grinding for the item drops does not feel as bad. I wish I had some more um, rested XP fodder, but sadly I'm out. Really, sadly they haven't started selling it on the in-game shop yet. Frost damage staff. <laughs> Doing it at 25 was a pain. I can imagine. It's level 29 and 30 demons. Yeah, it probably would have been, you know, could have been a better like group situation than a solo one. But when you're looking for drops, like you, you you're not really incentivized to group up when you're looking for stuff to drop off the, off of mobs because then you gotta share it. But yeah, like I, I would not have done it at 25. So I'm happy to be doing it now at level 33 when, when stuff's like a little bit easier. Much more enjoyable this way. I get I get all of the benefits without any of the frustrations. Yeah, it is yeah, it is good XP, right? Exactly. Exactly. Ah, uh, there's what's back here? Silver vein. Okay. Oh no, we're we're I think we're about to fight for the silver vein. This is there's no other reason to come back here. Like, yeah. Oh no, where is it? Oh shit, it's like up even higher. Oh, we can't get to it where it's at. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have to be up in the upper area. Okay. Yeah. Like, I kind of want to go up there and get that if we can. Is he following us? He's not. The iron we can't do. But the silver we can. Why would you do mining on a lock? I, I don't know. Just to just to sell it on the auction house, I guess, you know. Oh, this is this is tricky. Yeah, I guess you would just be selling it, I don't know. That's to be fair, that's all I'm doing with it is selling it. So, yeah. Uh, well, we had demons back here, but yeah, the warlock went this way. Any other enemies back here alive? Yes. We are probably going to have to pull a bunch of these guys. Like, all together. Let's take you, and I need you to come over here. Shadow bolts hurt. <laughs> all right, we are at eight out of twelve. Not bad at all. This is the spot for the warlock room. Makes sense. Yeah, it looks very warlocky. For demon form. Oh. 
Like you end up here basically. Well, that sounds fun. Is is that a long quest chain similar to what we're doing? Or is it more like to the point? It's a long one. Okay, of course. Of course, it can't just be like go there, use the item to summon the guys, fight them, kill them, win. Yeah, it can't just be that. It's worse than the Paladin one? Oh no. I mean, yeah, the travel is a lot, right? It's a lot of travel. The drop rates are bad. It definitely, it, they certainly captured the feel of Classic. But in a way that was like maybe a little bit over the top. It's like ev every rune starts to feel like the missing diplomat quest line, you know? need one more. We are looking pretty good. There's not, there's not much in WoW that feels better than fighting demons as a paladin. It's just a really good feeling. It just it just feels right. It makes sense, and it's a lot of fun. These guys are immune to fire. That's rough on a destruction warlock. Yeah, so like that's horrible. Oh, because yeah, my my lock when it levels up, you know, I'm leveling it as a as a destruction warlock. So I would have to come here and kill these guys to get the tanking rune. Then again, we're done tanking. So honestly, like if I play the lock in the future, it's going to be as DPS. So maybe I don't even have to worry about it. How cool would that be? 
to never need to have the rune. <laughs> One of these guys will drop the last item we need, eventually. It wouldn't feel classic if we weren't stuck at needing one more item for like 20 more minutes. Yeah, but no, no one's ever going to convince me again that tanking itself is fun. I know now I have a full understanding that the only fun to be had is by dealing damage. My, my eyes have been opened. See, this is really happening. They, they are holding out. They are holding out on that last item we need. We could probably start fighting our way back towards the swords. Maybe we get the item by the time we're back there. It's more fun than healing? Hmm. I wonder, though. Because the thing is, like, when I'm healing people, as long as they're not dying, I never feel like I'm, I'm effing up. But on the tank, every time there was, like, one or two mobs that I couldn't hold, I felt like I was effing up. So, like... To me, part of my fun comes from feeling like I'm doing my job well. And I feel like as a healer, I would have an easier time feeling like I was doing my job well uh, than as a tank. Just because, yeah, it felt like every time that another person pulled or every time I couldn't hold everything, like I'm, I'm effing up my job. So I'm not enjoying playing the game because in my mind, I'm screwing up. So I think, like, for me, if I had to pick one or the other at this point, like, if you had a gun to my head, I would have to, I'd have to go with healing. Because I know I can do that, I know I can succeed at it, and, and I'm not going to feel like, oh, I'm failing. And it might not be as visually exciting, but it would feel more rewarding in the fact that I would be succeeding at it. Not that you're going to catch me healing anytime soon. Yeah. Healing was my job in the game for so long that I guess I just kind of got desensitive to the pressure of it like yeah it's a big job but like i don't you know I, I do my best and if somebody dies then i don't really i don't really sweat it you know but i, I think i got desensitized to it a long time ago i feel like there's more pressure tanking because when you're tanking like, people expect you to set a certain pace they expect there to be a certain pacing to the dungeon and you're, you're completely responsible for for setting that pace I'm fine to follow along at any pace, so like healing I feel like for me is probably just much more rewarding and much easier to do. These guys can beat on us, that guy beat on us a little bit. We still are at 11 out of 12 by the way. We have not gotten our last item yet. It is, it's been, it's been weird, yeah, like, it was doing okay at dropping, and then it just kind of, as soon as I talked about it, when I said it was going to stop and not give us our last one for 20 minutes, like, that's what's happening. Yeah, it, that's exactly what's going on, like, we got to the last one, and then the game was like, no. 
You may not be done with this quest yet. You you must keep grinding. And this guy just killed everything back here, so now I'm going to run back here, but there's probably not going to be any mobs up. Uh, yeah. That's uh that's what it looks like. I don't see I don't see any mobs. And now he's running the other direction to kill all the mobs in that direction. Okay, we we got we got a guy. We got one guy. It's better than nothing. Come on, this guy this guy's got to have the item. Here we go. He's the one. It's this guy right here, Felguard number 37. He doesn't have the item. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, guys. What's wrong with you? Think about the item. Imagine in your head the item dropping. Not like the item isn't dropping inside of your head, but imagine, if you will, the item drops right now. And just focus on that feeling. You guys did it. Great job. Congratulations. You, you actualized reality. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, now think about an epic axe. And keep thinking about an epic axe until, like, yeah, just keep thinking about it. Blues are good, too. Think about blues, okay? Do me a favor. Focus. Yeah, just keep thinking about any epic axe just randomly dropping. Or, or a blue, you know. I believe you guys can make this happen. Oh yeah, we're walloping. The problem now is that we, we run out of mana a little bit. We, we, have, we have some mana issues that we need to, uh, to look into. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to click on this now, right? Uh, this is what I'm doing. What's going to happen after that? I, I think I have to click this thing now that I have the moats. Yeah, okay. Let's um, let, let's go ahead and click them. Let's refresh uh, Blessing of Might. All right, let, let's see what happens. We got We got electrocuted. Uh, the shattered remains of the orb lay at your feet. Delgrin will want to see you... See that you have been succeeded. Okay, we, we gotta go back to Delgrin. Um, is that what we're doing? Yeah, back to Delgrin. So, let's run up and we'll get the flight point from Astronar. From, uh, Azara, rather. And then we'll fly back to Astronar. And then we have a little bit of a run. Is that gonna be it? Like, what do we do after, after we talk to Delgrin? Is there more? Or have we completed like the bulk of it? I'm done. I just go back I go back to Delgrin now and he gives me he gives me the rune. And then I get I get to press the button. I I'm looking forward to that part. I I, I wish I would have been keeping track of how long this has taken us. But I, I feel <laughs> I feel like it's been like almost two hours, maybe two and a half. I feel like it's we've been at this for a long time. It's gonna feel good when I get it. it, it it's either gonna feel good or underwhelming. I, it's gonna feel good. No, it's it's gonna be good to get it, especially with like you know, I I, I need it now. Now I have to have it. So. And then I have to figure out like what else I'm doing. I I, I need I, yeah th no that'll be good then we'll be good right we'll have everything we want. There we're not missing any of the phase one runes for DPS now once we have divine storm. Cause that's gonna that's gonna go on our chest, and then we're gonna keep exorcist, and we're gonna keep crusader strike. So like we should be we should be good. And then I have to I have to figure out which ones I want for my belt and my boots. But I don't think I have to worry about that till I'm already level 40. Okay, I can't go this way. I have to go this way. 
Okay, hey, these guys are not, they're not PvP flagged. But I'm gonna have to fight them. They're, um, they're kind of in the way. I need to go down this road. I'll probably feel more powerful once I once I do a respec also. That'll probably help us out a little bit. Once I'm like actually a proper spec. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now we're PvP flagged. <laughs> All it took was that one mob. Yikes. I think we'll be fine. We'll be mostly in flight. For the next five minutes at least. And now we enter what is probably the most beautiful zone in the game that so far doesn't really get used for anything. How cool would it be to have like a bunch of awesome questing to do here? Maybe like some end game story going on here with a bunch of questing for like rep and rewards. Maybe a dungeon would be cool. Possibly even a raid. A, a battleground event of some kind could be really nice. I am honored, and it, it would be a place that already exists that most players don't really spend any time. So it would feel new to a lot of people, without ha them having to do like any like big big new zone development. The next yeah, exactly. They should use it for the end game content. Yeah, like if they want to have a zone with like a bunch of stuff to do. Like, what was the one island in Pandaria that everybody liked? It was like, you'd run around, it was like a real season of discovery. You'd run around the island, there would be like things you could find, treasures to find, and stuff like that. They could turn it into like, like that kind of zone. They could have like quests there that are telling some kind of end game like story. Um, they could do like their, their unfinished like PvP thing, they could do that. They could maybe, they could carve out a five man dungeon. 
and do a new raid. That'd be awesome. The Timeless Isle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it like make it a zone similar to like the Timeless Isle. Like put some of that stuff in. Maybe I know people like that more than they like the idea of like putting world quest in, but I would be fine with them putting some world quest in for like solo players. But yeah, that'd be a cool place to do level 60 content, like new content for the season. That way like you don't have to build a whole new zone. And you could take us somewhere that like, you know, I think people want to experience it. It's a beautiful area. There are like some quests you can do there in like the level 50s, you know, but that's it. Oh, now I can also fly to Ratchet? Nice, nice. That was the connector. Yeah, yeah, and then what? Yes, exactly, Mantar. When they finally did put stuff in Azara, uh, during the Cataclysm, they shamed it. They put, they put, it became a goblin zone. When they finally used it, you're like, I'm finally gonna get the quest in Azara for the goblins. Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, what a waste. They did really waste it, honestly. It's bad. What about the alliance questing? Is there any alliance questing in the Cataclysm in Azara? Do they get like some night elf druid stuff and like the horde got goblins or is it a horde only zone? Cause I really, I really don't know. Maybe it's a horde only zone. That'd be a bummer. It is horde only? Oh, gross. Yeah, that's really gross. No, there should be, there should obviously be some night elf stuff going on there. You know, it's on the border of Ashenvale and it's kind of like the progression of like the night elf zones. Oh man. Oh my god, that's so horrible. If I was an alliance player back then, I would have been very upset. That would have really upset me. As it was, I just got disappointed and I got to go there and quest, but it was really disappointing. Alex, do you think the Alliance does have quests? Okay. I hope they're Night Elf quests. And I, I hope they're good. We're going to get to see when Cataclysm comes out. We're, we're going to be going through there. So, we'll, we'll see. Sometime this summer. We'll take, we'll take a worgen through. Oh yeah, yeah, we're talking about Cata, yeah. We mean like, after the Cata thing happens. Yeah, I know, like, in, in Vanilla there are some quests there that I think like either faction can do. But yeah, we're, we're, I think post Cata, it became like the Goblins like second zone or something? Is that what it became? Or was it just that it was so it was so close to Ogremar? It has the back entrance to Ogremar. So, yeah. I think, I think in Cata, because it's the back door to Ogremar, and the questing for like the Horde side starts in Orgrimmar that they kept it a, a Horde only. As the Worgen, what class would I be? I'm not sure. We, we could just go Worgen Druid. That would make no sense because then we'd be a cool werewolf but we would never see that form. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know. I don't know what I want. Maybe we'll just do a Worgen Warrior. That could be okay. A Morgan Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not a bad one. A Morgan Hunter in Cataclysm. What would that be like? What was what was Hunter like in Cataclysm? I didn't play any Hunter in Cataclysm. King's honor, friend. Go with honor, friend. Light bless you. Go with honor, friend. Did we... Did we... We got it! Yes! Oh my gosh. Two and a half hours later. The quest line is complete. And we have what is possibly the best ability in the entire game. It does feel good. Absolutely. It really does. Okay, now we need to get the F out of here. We need to get out. I want out. <laughs> I want out of the Night Elf lands. Immediately, please. 
We have tw we we well the Hearthstone's not gonna matter. We have to we have to catch the boat. Very awesome. Thank you guys for being here for it. I appreciate it. Yeah, this this is great. Oh, there we go. We can spin. It looks cool. It looks cool. It almost looks a little bit too flashy for classic. But I like it. We can press that quite often. That's on, that's only on a 10 second cooldown. There we go. Apparently not, now we would be ready to tank. According to all my YouTube comments. But we're not going to do that. So now we have now we have everything we need to DPS, right? We got Exorcism, we've we've got Divine Storm, we've got Crusader Strike. These are the runes that I need from phase one. And now, uh, you know, at 40, we'll worry about getting the two that we need for phase two. They got rid of ammo for hunters and Kata. That would be a good time to play a hunter then. Yeah, when you, when you whenever you don't need ammo anymore. That would be okay with me. Nothing's worse than being in the middle of a dungeon and running out of ammo. Yeah, we're we're gonna do uh we're gonna stay in devotion aura until we spec into red aura. We have to do a respec, so yeah, we're gonna head back to town, do a respec, and get ourselves all situated properly. That's the plan. I have more water. Uh, yeah, I was feeling salty about dungeons, so I, I bought like 80 water when when I started off my day and thought we were going to be tanking more uh, more Scarlet Monastery. I just bought a crap ton of water because I, I knew I was going to have to drink a lot. Now now I'm glad I have it because it it does seem like we burn a little bit of mana as a as a DPS as well. Yeah, the respects in Sod are really cheap though. They're not free, to be fair. Uh, but they are really cheap, and they don't—they don't like accrue as much from ranked from time to time as it would in normal classic. May the stars guide you. In oh, in Cataclysm, they 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 went over to energy. In Cata, I will play a hunter. Then I will do I will do a Morgan hunter. If they left off mana and went into energy, and then they don't have ammo, absolutely. That sounds like a really good time. Let's do that. Let's do a Worgen Hunter. That's what we'll do for Kata. And then that and then that'll just that'll just be my main. I'm just gonna I'm gonna have that character, I'm gonna main that character. Um as far as like the horde side stuff, I don't know. The horde side stuff, I know I'm going to do like an immersive series on the goblin starting zones. As much as I hate goblins, some people like them. So like having the quest all read out and doing all that would be would be good. And then the trolls got a new starting zone. So maybe maybe if I level a horde character, it'll be a, it'll be a troll druid. Cuz I'll do I'll do a troll druid for their starting zone to see that and we'll see how I feel. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to go worgen for my Kata main. And then we can LFR we can LFR our way to victory, as a DPS class. <laughs> we'll, we'll just LFR, and I'm sure we'll get to I'm sure we'll get to do Titan Rune Alpha Beta Gammas as DPS. It should be fun. Top hat and the gun. Yep, that's all we need. Just a top hat and a gun. And do we get Transmog in Kata as well? That was when they introduced Transmog, wasn't it? Worgen hunters should be able to tame humans. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure how if that works that way. But They're, they're, it looks like they're going to drop Kata between the phases, Alex. 
I think how they're going to drop Kata is you'll have leveled to 50. I, if, I was, if, I, if I was looking at the roadmap right, it, it's either between the 50-60 level band or after the 60 level band. They're obviously going to time it so that people are like done with whatever portion of Sob they've been in, waiting for new, and then Kata comes out. They're going to time it so you want to play Kata. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're, they're going to try to make sure that it's like not com competing with itself. I, I think they'll do that right. It'll it'll be like in, in a lull. Oh, we're gonna miss it! <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, I, I'll, I'm gonna take a look at the roadmap, but I think they'll drop Kata between like phases or something like that, like at the end of a phase. They'll try to be smart about it, like no doubt. Yeah, it looks like like looking at the roadmap, you're gonna get the, the level fifty band is gonna come out mid spring, and then by like mid to beginning of summer, you're gonna have Kata drop. Yeah, Kata is gonna drop once you've been, you've been level fifty for a long time, you've done the raid, you've got your runes, you're rolling alts, and right when you're in that like alt rolling phase, Cataclysm is gonna come out. And then it looks like you're going to have at least two or three months with Cataclysm until the level until level 60 band opens up. That's like by the roadmap. Yeah, they're going to time it perfectly, so that you'll be you'll be just kind of getting over like level 50. You'll have done what you want to do. You'll be you'll be on the alt train. You'll be thinking about hardcore, and then Cataclysm will come out. <laughs> Alex, it does suck, man. Now, I, f I know what you feel like you wish you could just play one version of the game and, like, really focus on it. I absolutely... Trust me, man. I absolutely understand how you feel. As someone who does try to play all versions of the game, and I'm not often able to, like, yes, it it is kind of low-key unfortunate that there are so many different versions of the game. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't let you really focus on one of them. They they literally want to keep you hopping. They want you hopping between versions. It's crazy, but that's what they, that's what they want. You know, that's how they time their releases so that you can do it. They want you to like play sod and then get bored of sod and play cataclysm, and then be okay with the first fa phase of cata. You've done the raid a few times. You've got some bis, and then the level sixty band opens in sod, and then you're back in sod. You're doing that for a while, and then the first big patch of cata comes out, and and then you know you've got a, a new raid. Yeah, they're gonna like boom, boom, boom. They're gonna hit you. They're not gonna let you stick in one version. Yeah, they're not. They're not gonna let you stick in just one version of the game. They want you in all the versions at all times. Maximum engagement. The last thing that they want is for you to have time and decide to go play a different game. You know. So they're keeping you hyper engaged. Hardcore cell phone coming at the end of the month. Yeah, but no one cares about that, do they? Do people care about hardcore cell phone? How many people here in this chat? There's 140 of you right now. How many people are excited to play some hardcore cell phone with a little checkbox by your character indicating that you're that you're cell phone? How many people are looking forward to it? Jason, you're looking forward to it. That's one person. Patrick made an X. I think that means no. <laughs> I just like... I know that there are people that like it. I know there are people that like it. You know what I mean? And here's the deal. If it was a fresh start server, I would probably check it out. And I think a lot more people would if it were a server type. 
if it were a, a self-found server type that was a fresh start that wasn't on the current Hardcore Realms, I think a lot more people would be interested in it and would try it out. I would. I would try it out, you know, and at least be there for like day one and stuff and see how I felt. But as it as it being like a little checkbox, that's and I'm being I'm going to be on the same server with the same economy, and like all the people not doing self found, like it doesn't interest me really. Yeah, and if I if I did it again, I would do it on a priest. Yeah, I would do. It. Yeah, it's just. It's just, yeah, without it being everybody doing it on the server, it just feels like gimping yourself. Exactly, Richard. When it's everybody on the server all doing it together, then it's just part of the game rules. It's part of the game that you're playing. When it's just you and, like, a few other people who opt in, but everyone else is playing a different game, it just feels like it's pointlessly gimping yourself. Like, the economy is there, you just can't use it. The mailbox does work, but you just can't use it. Uh, yeah, like, that doesn't... It doesn't interest me as much as a server type would. You think the people that are still playing hardcore now are excited about it? I don't know. I guess, yeah. I guess if you're if you're playing hardcore like when Sod's at its most hype, then you are the the hardcore of the hardcore. Then yes, maybe you are a person who is excited about a self found checkbox next to a new character. I don't know. I don't even know how much hype that they would have for it. I, I think that's like, if, if you want Hardcore to have like a lot of hype, I think like the Fresh Start is the way to go. Fresh start is the way to go for, for hardcore hype, but then again, like they don't want too much hardcore hype right now because you don't really want to interfere with Saad. Can I help you? That's the problem. It's like a conflict of interest. Uh, we have to go respec. I guess like I can do that in Ironforge. See you around. Just stop in at Ironforge and, and do a quick little respec. Yeah, that's that's how I feel, Alex. Like I just can't imagine rolling up another character and having that be the point of it. The point of it now is that I'm going to be even more gimped. I, I just can't. Yeah, I think that they could have they could have done like one server per region. You know, they probably wouldn't even need to have many. And that could have been an opportunity. So what, what level do you guys think that I can consider DPSing like an armory run? Do I want to be like level 36 to 38 for armory? To like be able to hit the last boss? I feel like even some of the mobs in library were, st were still orange to us. Yeah, I, I don't know what early as possible is though. I feel I feel like in library some of the some of the mobs were still orange. 
I, and I, I can't remember what level the mobs are in Armory. Uh, let's do a respec. Ten silver, which is not bad. Uh, so I, I need to grab, I need to grab Divine Strength, okay, but that's it. We're not gonna go into Improved Seal of Righteousness, because we are gonna grab Seal of Command instead. So, five points in Blessing of Might. Um, here I could probably go Improved Judgment and three points in Benediction. Because I, I don't think I'm gonna go Seal of the Crusader. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm gonna use Seal of the Crusader. So I, I think we're gonna go Judgment, Benediction. We're still level 33. We've been uh, working on getting Divine Storm today for most of the afternoon. So we haven't been doing a lot of leveling today. Uh, let's grab Seal of Command. And then... We're going into Conviction. We, we're going to have to do 5 points anyway. Let's go 2 points into Ret Aura. And that's it, we're good. Now I need to rewrite my macro for Seal of Command. There we go. And then of course we lost we lost consecrate. Obviously. And then do I have to train any oh, ranks? Yeah. I do have to train ranks. I'm glad that I checked this. Yeah, I had to train rank two. Be good. And then obviously we're, we're working down to get into two-handed weapon spec. Yeah, and I'm, I'm probably not going to grab Repentance. I don't really see... That's kind of like a wasted talent point in my opinion. It's, it's a kind of a bummer to have at the very bottom of your of your talent tree. You have a... You have a CC that only works against humanoids as like the last talent in your entire tree. Not great. Alex, I typically don't. I'm, I'm giving it a chance here because we have other buttons to push, like mainly. Because I'm not totally dependent on it. Because I have Crusader Strike in this version and I have Divine Storm, I, I'm giving Seal of Command a chance. And we'll see how it goes. But only because I have other stuff going on. I do have one left, don't I? How did I miss that? Well, don't answer that question. Okay, we'll go one more point into Benediction then. We'll get this to five points... And then we'll need to spend one more to get down here. See you soon. What can I do? All right. Uh, where are we going? If I'm gonna keep questing, which I, I kind of have to, if I don't want to run more library, uh, let's go to Duskwood. We have some green stuff going on there. Uh, there we go. It's a five-minute flight. I'm gonna go AFK for a couple minutes while we are in flight here.
Uh, I don't think there was another rank. I, if there was, I hope it would show us here. So I think we're good for now. I think there's only two ranks. For the time being. If we go through Westfall, running to the cemetery from Westfall might actually be faster if we want to do Proving Your Worth. I wonder if this is going to go through Westfall or not. It doesn't look like it. Oh, no, maybe. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get off this flight in, in Sentinel Hill. Nope, nope, nope. It's the one time we're doing a direct flight. Okay, that's fine. It, it would have been faster to go to Sentinel Hill. And then and then do the run, but that's not what's happening. Uh, we can oh we can do this one too I guess on the way. We should be able to handle these guys now. They're level twenty nine, should be fine. Wyatt, I was flying right over you. That's funny. Lael, it was it, it, you know, but it's only been I think it's been like two and a half hours. It's been about three hours. And yeah, the last little bit I got out of it was still hot. But it wasn't like a really long test of it. Because there wasn't a ton in there. It was it was two, two French press carafes is what we filled it with. So it wasn't even like close to being full. But I mean like realistically like, like I think three hours is the extent, the extent to which I want to drink old coffee. So three hours might actually be like a perfect amount of time. Even at like gas stations, they're supposed to change the coffee every every two hours. So like three hours is, is is quite enough time for coffee to sit there and do whatever it does while it sits. Gets stronger. Uh, I'm gonna set the Hearthstone here so it's not set over in Aberdeen. I buy and trade. Be careful. Farewell. Alright, let's go smack stuff with our new spec, our new loadout. I'm excited to hit enemies. And see how that goes. Uh, it's gonna feel very different than hitting enemies, uh, you know, as the spec we were previously. We've got some stitches action going on here off the side of the road. Uh, this pet looks dead. Oh dear God. Oh God. Let's let's not get killed by stitches. Actually, you know, he might not be able to one shot us. At least we'd probably be able to get away.
Oh my god, but all of the skinning opportunities. I think some of these gr guys drop heavy leather. Or have the chance to, at least. So, I mean, they're all- everyone's dead anyway. Somebody just murdered everything in the entire area. So maybe skinning for a minute is not a bad idea. Our skinning is at 203 out of 225, so... We're not- we're not doing bad. I mean, yeah, you know, these, these guys are green, so... But it, it feels pretty good. Now, we're using a bit of mana. That's my only real concern. Is we are using... A bit... Of the mana. But other than that, we feel pretty strong. Impossible Dream, you just started playing again. Welcome back, buddy. It's a good time to play. Standing right here in this area is probably not the smartest option for us. Do we need to think about potions? Maybe even just a mana pot could help us out. Uh, I don't really want a group because I'm greedy and I, I want all the kill experience for myself. So I don't really want a group. I'm gonna have to get used to like maybe having to drink sometimes. That's gonna be a little bit different. Where did these guys come from? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what's happening? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take this one. Jesus. The aggro in this area is kind of like messed up. Like we're getting aggro on just like random stuff. Um, I guess because I hit the one guy and the caster was on the same chain, maybe that's what happened. That was uh, a little bit weird. A little bit worrisome. We're still in combat with this guy. Yeah, see he's coming right back to us. I don't really want this guy. But I guess he's mine now.
Are we done? Yeah, we're done here. I, I don't have to... I don't have to keep killing these guys. It turns out we can just leave. Let's head over to the cemetery. It'll be nice if we can go into Stranglethorn at like level 34, 35. I should probably check like what level the quests are at the Hunter's Camp. Level 30, okay, yeah, so 35. And then there's a lower level quest down in Booty Bay somewhere for uh, the Crocolis skins. I actually feel I feel like pretty pretty good as far as like where we're at on the leveling curve. Like I feel like we're ahead of the leveling curve at this point. Even if we didn't do a bunch more Scarlet Monastery, which we're bound to, I still feel like we'd be doing pretty good. On a lot of characters, I end up going to Stranglethorn at like level 32. Because I've run out of stuff to do. Maybe we can do th find a group and do this one when we're out here. The Bride of the Embalmer. We should be able to find some people for that. Possibly. Pretty sure it's like out in this area somewhere. Yeah, right over here. Yeah, l let's do the kill quest and then we'll find some people for this. Get some lesser bloodstone ore for that quest. Okay, how many? How many do we need? Four of them. I was just thinking to myself. I was thinking somewhere around here is our old buddy, our old pal, Morla frickin' Deem. And here he is. Here he is. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna kill him or not. I thought, like, maybe we had a chance. 
I thought like perhaps small chance we, we can lay on hands and in fact we, we might have to that's all the tricks we have now it's down to mathematics and chance that's right F you buddy walk up on us like we're just nobody we showed you he didn't he didn't clap me I clapped him I clap trapped him just call me the, the trap clapper I feel pretty good about that. Probably should probably shouldn't feel good about that, but I do. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, like I should have grabbed the quest. Like, can I get the quest yet? I don't think I I don't think I can get the quest yet, right? I think it changed off of something. I don't even I don't even know what it changed. Maybe it changed from Stalvin. I don't know what it changed from. Yeah, we, well, we know now that when we have the quest, we can simply go kill him. It's not a problem. Now we know we can solo it. It's like a practice run. It's the grave. It's this grave right here. Does that take us back to town first? And then someone gives us a quest? We'll uh we'll grab it before we head back.
like, well, we need raiders, and there are no raiders. Pretty typical. There's our buddy Morladim. He's back up. Okay, there are raiders, but they're a hot commodity, and now we have a lot of competition. Uh, maybe we should group up. They don't, they don't seem too interested in that. There we go. I could even give you a 10 minute buff. Don't you like 10 minute buffs? This person may not be doing the same quest. They may not be doing the same quest. They ran in the complete opposite direction of the quest. Oh, there's raiders in the house. I did not realize that. Not a single raider left standing. They've all been decimated. Uh, we need like three more. And then we could be done with this one. I always see the bodies down here, but like when they're alive, for me, they're always warders. I haven't seen raiders down here myself that were actually alive. I see that's a warder, that's a warder, that one back there is a warder. That's a healer.
I mean, I guess we can just camp this last one. We, we know eventually one of them will, will spawn here. So we, we could just hang out. That might be the most efficient way to get this one done. Is Stranglethorn out as a questing hub? Uh, I wouldn't think so. I guess like while the PvP event's going on, maybe it's difficult to to do stuff. I, I don't know. No, I'm assuming we're going to be able to quest there most of the time. In fact, we'll have to go there soon. So we'll find out firsthand how it actually is. But yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know exactly how the PvP event works. So like maybe there's a period of time when it's kind of a pain in the butt. But if you're if you're out like in the zone, like I don't know how it affects you. The event only happens like every three hours. I just don't know exactly how long it lasts. It only lasts thirty minutes. Yeah. So no, like you can you can quest fine. It's like every once in a while it might be challenging. Be careful, or the alliance. You can opt out. You should opt out when the event is going on. Otherwise it's going to be very chaotic. Yeah, like, is there an option to opt out or do you mean, like, leave the zone? As in just, like, not be there at all. What can I do for you? Just avoid Booty Bay. Okay. Well, that that's easy I enough. I guess I can't I can't interact Hello. with her right now because she's stuck in the Stitches event. Maybe we should help kill Stitches. Uh, we could probably go kill the Nightbane Vile Fangs and the Tainted Ones down here. 
I, I would like to hit level 34. I think that'd be a nice goal to achieve. Uh, I'm really digging the new spec. I'm really digging the new build. I'm having a good time as this DPS Paladin. So yes, this was definitely the right move uh, for me for right now. This has felt pretty good. So you have to participate, it's the same as the Ashendale event, right? You participate in the event, and then you're getting reputation with the faction, and then you buy the gear off the, fa off the faction vendor. This mage just pulled every single mob, how polite of him. Like, can someone explain to me why I got this guy's mobs? Can someone just, like, I need to understand, like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> why did I get this guy's two mobs on me? I didn't do anything to him. I didn't buff him. I didn't even look at him. That was, uh, incredibly rude. Yeah, you better stay and fight your mobs. Because now I'm gonna die. That was a close one. This was good practice for my dungeon runs, yeah, where I just like, I aggro everything and almost die. Yeah, fair point. It does seem like it would be a good spot for grinding. Yeah, both, you know, grinding XP and grinding leather. Let's, I think we have to go in here to get the tainted ones. Yeah, they're only in the back of the cave. My inventory is full. It's very, very sad. Jason, no, that's never happened once, and it will never happen. 
No, my wife's been picking them up the past couple weeks. It's giving me a little bit of, break, of a break because I've been doing it for the past three years. I need to get out of this cave, otherwise I'm going to be trapped in this cave forever. And we're never going to get out. We need two more Vile Fangs. Light be with you. Go with honor, friend. Oh my god. god bless you. It, this always happens to me. I'm like millimeters away from leveling up. Okay, can we go? Is there anything nearby we can even fight? Yeah, let's let's go north of town. Let's go fight a couple of these ghouls. I, I wanna I wanna hit level 34. That would be really nice, and then I can learn level 34 abilities. Yeah, let's let's go fight like two or three things. It's like so close.
and there we go. Uh, for this one, let's go ahead and we'll finish off Benediction. Whew, hey, we, we gained at least one level today. That's, that's about it. We gained a level. We changed our entire character's loadout and spec. We got the best ability in the game. I think, like, overall, it's been a, it's been a pretty productive day. And tomorrow I may start soliciting myself as DPS for Armory. I, I don't know if I'm like within the proper range to do Armory yet. But I think tomorrow I'll just start spamming myself out there and we'll see if we can find any groups for that. Uh, that being said, thank you guys very much for being here today. I am going to stop right here for this afternoon. And I will be back on tomorrow where we will continue our journey right here on the Paladin. Thanks again. As always, take care of yourselves out there. Take care of each other. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.